All right, hello everyone. My name is Ivory Snow and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited that we are able to have a YouTube stream. It's been a little bit of technical difficulties and of course I changed my scene too early because I'm still trying to get myself talking. Okay, there we go. I'm a little bit rusty, but I hope everybody is having a great start to their time zone. I want to say hi to typing. Sonia, welcome on in. And this is our first YouTube stream in a little bit because of technical difficulties, but I'm hoping that I got those all fixed and we are good to go. And that is a thing of the past. So I, you know, thank you, typing, thank you. Um, as Queen makes me blush, but um, I'm really just hoping that this hardwire setup and some of my OBS settings really help. I know that there is a whole bug issue with like YouTube and OBS. So I just keeping my fingers crossed, you know, taking it one day at a time, one stream at a time. And today I'm really excited because y'all know I moved uh, if you watched the last vlog. And honestly, <laughs> y'all know me. This house is not done. I'm not even going to be fake. The house is not finished. And I've been asked before about like doing a tutorial on decorating stuff. I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. I'm not even the best decorator. Uh, Tara, hello. Welcome in. Yeah, OBS is honestly a mess typing. It's, yeah. And it's really only with YouTube that I have this issue and I do not understand why. Uh, but hopefully my friend was able to help me troubleshoot. So hopefully it's a thing of the past, but keeping my fingers crossed and manifesting. Um, but yes, I've been asked before about, you know, decorating, placing objects, making sure that things aren't floating. Um, probably came from one of my snarky comments about people having stuff floating in Second Life. Uh, so this is going to be a live tutorial, which will cover manipulating objects in Second Life, manipulating textures in Second Life, aligning items in Second Life. Again, I am not a professional. I just have been in Second Life for a very long time. So I like to consider myself a jack of all trades, master of none. And hopefully this helps people who maybe not have the ability to like pay somebody to do interior decorating. Uh, but hopefully this can help you improve your placement of items because you can honestly have the nicest collection of decor and furniture and second life. You could have spent buku money on everything. Uh, but if you have stuff floating or if it's off the walls, it's not gonna be cute at the end of the day. So I, again, I do want to say that I'm just super excited because it just feels good to see everyone on YouTube because it's been a little bit. Let me close this extra 
window because I'm so nervous. But okay, it's saying I have excellent connection. Perfect. Uh, so for decorating in Second Life, I highly recommend using Firestorm. And I just, I know a lot of people love using Black Dragon as a viewer, but to be honest with you, um, that viewer is great for machinima, but if you are doing decor or building something within Second Life, that's not going to be your friend. Um, so if you are trying to use Black Dragon to decorate, and if anything I'm saying is confusing you, if you're watching this in real time, or if you're watching this in the future, um, and if you ask me for help with Black Dragon, I'm going to smile and say you should download Firestorm. <laughs> so I, I do want to just give that quick tip really quick. I personally do not decorate with Black Dragon. Um, don't, don't be extra hard on yourself. Show yourself some grace and kindness. Uh, take your time, Tara. Uh, so definitely want to use Firestorm if you are looking to do a decorating project. So let's just jump right into things. And we are going to pull up your inventory. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to adjust your inventory settings so that as you're searching for things to decorate with, it makes your life easier. So to easily pull up your inventory, you can just press Control I on your keyboard. That's a hotkey that you can use for Second Life. I know a lot of people don't realize that we have hotkeys for Second Life, but we do, and they're pretty cool. Uh, so control I is going to give you an inventory window. Now with your default settings, you'll notice that your received items, all of your things from Marketplace are going to be at the bottom. And let me make sure I have my mouse showing so you can see what I'm doing. I don't think it's, no, I don't. Hold on, professional, professional tier stuff right quick. Give me a second. Okay, show my cursor. There we go. That's better. So you'll have your received items at the bottom. And then when you search things, you'll notice that as you search in each tab, your inventory tab, your recent tab, and your worn tab, you'll see that it's searching each tab. Now, when you're trying to decorate things, having your received items at the bottom and then not being able to search through, I don't know, maybe like the older stuff that you purchased and maybe you just did a huge shopping spree, it can be a little bit frustrating. So the first thing that we are going to do is press Control P on our keyboard, and that's going to pull up your preferences. Now, that is another hotkey that you definitely want to keep in mind. It's pretty standard with most like games and virtual worlds, Control P. Oh, you still don't see my cursor. You still don't see it. That is so... Okay, you see it now? Perfect. Oh, wow. I feel like there is a huge delay between... Okay. That makes me sad now because I have a strong connection, but now there is a huge delay in YouTube and the stream. So feel free to yell at me in the chat, <laughs> if anything, um, so I can see it as quick as possible. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you want to hit Control P and that's going to pull up your preferences menu. So to change some settings for your inventory, you want to navigate to user interface here. And then we want to go to interface windows. Once you hit Control P, user interface, and then interface windows, you want to look here at the bottom where it says inventory options. Now, I always had one. Ooh. T, okay, I did not know. <laughs> I thought I was streaming with low latency, but I guess not. It, it could be, it could be something. OBS is really bugged. Like I really want to research another software for YouTube because it's literally OBS and YouTube. I don't have that issue with any other like streaming. And I have really good internet too, typing. I... YouTube does not like me. <laughs> it is clear. All the signs point to YouTube not liking me. Um, but that is good to know. Now I got to play with my settings again. Uh, but once you get to your inventory options, you'll see three main checks here. Now you want to check off hide empty system folders from your inventory. And all that is going to be is a bunch of blank folders. And nobody really has time for that. 
So this will automatically hide them for you. And then the next thing that you want to check all or check on is show the received items folder in normal inventory. So I know you've probably experienced where you're searching for something that you bought off marketplace and you're like, oh my gosh, where is it? And it's at the bottom of your inventory. So this is going to pull it to the top. And bear with me because for some reason, Streamlabs is not first stream um, difficulties or technical difficulties, I guess. Could have sworn I fixed that. But yes, yeah, so you want to make sure you have that checked and do not check off the thing at the bottom where it says always show received items button. At the bottom of the inventory, you, I mean, you could if you wanted to, but I just find it to be not useful. So after you check that off, ignore stream elements and saying that I'm streaming on kick and I'm actually not, it's a liar. <laughs> but after you check that off, you want to look at the last one where it says allow separate search items on each tab in inventory. Check that off as well. Now, when you go into search something, uh, let's see, hair. If I'm searching hair in the inventory tab, you'll see here that it's not affecting my recent folder and my worn folder. So if I want to search hair in my standard inventory, but let's say I just bought a sofa, I can search it in different tabs and then I can search heels in this tab. So this honestly is just so clutch when you're decorating, um, especially for those of us who do massive shopping sprees and we just want to search through our recent folder or through our regular inventory without having multiple inventory windows. This is honestly a lifesaver. Uh, so if you just made it in or if you just want to recap, the first thing that we did was we went to our settings with control P and we navigated to the user interface to make sure that we have our received item folder with the rest of our folders in our inventory. And then we set it to where we can search different things in these different tabs up here. So that's the first part that I wanted to go over. And if that confused anybody, feel free to stop me. I'm gonna take a minute to pet my dog Nappa because you know my dogs love to bother me when I'm streaming, honey. Hi, Bubba's. Oh, this is a cute boy. Look at him. Look at this guy. Whoa, look at Napa. Okay, Nap. Go ahead. Go be a dog. <coughs> that was a nice. Okay, I'll pet you one more time. All right, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Don't bite your sister. I could pet both of you at the same time. Sorry, guys. Napa's being jealous of Aria. All right, so now that you have your inventory window all sorted out, next we are going to move on to a quick tip if you're trying to search some things in your inventory. Um, and this is actually something that I discovered recently. And I've been on Second Life for quite some time. So if you're searching for something, let's say you have a sofa and maybe it's like, a pink sofa or if you have a table that is glass and you have tons of tables right if i type in tables here it's just going to show me a bunch of like things that have the word table and i'm going to get overwhelmed especially if i'm decorating you would suggest streamlabs obs it works better for you okay thank you i'm definitely going to be trying that then i might try to set that up uh this coming week before i stream next weekend but when you're looking for something specific when you're decorating, this could be a little bit overwhelming. So let's say I know that I'm looking for a glass table. You can group your keywords together with the plus sign, and then I can type in glass, and it's going to show me all of my glass tables, which again, for someone that has an inventory like mine that is extremely unorganized, this is super duper helpful because I have like 100,000 items that are literally uh, just messy. <laughs> My inventory is messy. There's no other way to put it. Um, if I wanted to type in pink chair to see if I had any pink chairs, if I could spell chair, it's going to show me all of the pink chairs that I have, which surprisingly, 
I don't really have much. So that's just another feature to keep in mind when you're doing your decor. Uh, that is super helpful. So we went over your inventory and now we are going to go over the build menu, which is super important when you're doing your decorating. So if you press control three on your keyboard, that is gonna bring up the edit tool where you edit and manipulate objects. So again, I'm just gonna close that out, control three, and that's the hot key for it. Uh, the other way to get to it is to go to build um, and then object or build, I'm sorry, <laughs> select build to, I just had a brain lapse right there. Build, select build tool, and then you go to the edit tool. But honestly, it's so much easier to press control three because again, it's the hot key. It takes you right to it. Now, this is where you're going to do the most of your object manipulation. And to sort these things out, I have this cube here. And this cube is going to be our test cube. So if you're not super new to Second Life, this part may be like a refresher for you. But we're just going to go over the different build tools and talk about what they do. So the move tool is pretty straightforward. It's going to move the object across the X axis, Z or Z, and the Y axis. I love when people say Z. I feel like Z is just uh, so refreshing. I watch a lot of people do a uh, Z brush and they call it Z brush. And it's kind of just stuck in my head. Um, but yes, so it's just going to move things. Now you have your rotate, which is going to rotate an object across the Z axis, X, and Y. So if you ever place something and you don't like the way it is, you can just hit Control Z on your keyboard until it gets back to where it is. However, when you log out, it's not going to keep that information. So you want to make sure you have it placed before you're done for the day. Now, stretch again is just going to stretch it. You can scale it. Um, and then you can also stretch it among the different axes. So you have the X, Y, Z here. And you'll also see here that they're color coded. So you have your Y is green, your Z is blue. And then your red is X. So if you ever are trying to do it on a specific axis, it's always going to be color coded for you. Now, the select face tool is going to be really helpful when you are texturing things. And I'll show you how that's done quickly. So with the square, it's going to be easy to see because it has all of, or I'm sorry, this cube. It has these multiple faces and they're easy to see. It's not like, you know, I'm working with this fireplace where it's going to be difficult to map out where the faces are due to the UV map. So let's say I have an object and I know that I want one face to be pink. So if you go into select face, at first you'll see it has every single face selected. So then you pick the face that you want and then you go into texture and you can set that specific face to be whatever color you want. I'm gonna make mine pink. So that is what that function does. And just be mindful when you're doing select face too. Um, if you're changing the texture or something, just be careful <laughs> because you can do something uh, that might mess something up. So you just wanna be really mindful when you're dropping and dragging the textures with select face. So, Next, you have the align tool, but we're going to go over this kind of last because the align to tool has like a lot of, um, it's not really a lot. It's just you got to practice it in order to get it right. But there's the align tool. Now you have this edit linked option, and I'm actually going to show you what that's like with a different object. So we have Devante's basket here, and this is actually an object that is compiled of a bunch of other objects. So they're all grouped together and linked together. So if I wanted to edit, let's say the actual part where he lays down, I'm gonna hit the edit link tool right here, edit linked, and I'm gonna hit move because I wanna move this link part. And, oh, and it's gonna slide it 
I didn't realize that it was like that. Okay. Um, so maybe that wasn't a good example. Let's try this because I think this is. Well, you get the gist of it. I'm trying to find something. Maybe this by Dust Bunny. Yeah, this will be perfect. So again, I have the edit link tool and I'm hitting the part that I want to edit and you'll see it just slide out. Now, keep in mind when you're editing something that is linked, because a lot of things have textures that are baked in, you see this big shadow on the wall. Sometimes when you move stuff, it is going to leave a bit of a shadow. But if you're able to modify things, you'll just use the select face tool and you can try to get rid of that shadow as best you can. And right here, I'm just going to set the transparency to 100. And now you see that that shadow is gone. So I'm going to hit Control Z on this because I just messed up. <laughs> I just messed up my thing. Oh. So I'm going to go to this. Move it. Control Z. Put it back to where it was. Okay. So. And now I'm flying. Okay, so we went over moving, rotating, stretching, selecting the face, and editing linked objects. And that's pretty much like the basis of what you would do when you're placing things. Now, they have this option here to stretch both sides. And this is perfect if you need something to be concise and even. So you just have to make sure that you have this checked. So when you go to stretch something, it's gonna be the same on both sides. All right, now, next we want to go over stretching the texture. This is super important because I, I actually see this a lot when people decorate and it's gonna be hard to tell. Um, let me take a copy of this. So I'm gonna take a copy of this picture of me and Dakota. Now, when you're stretching something, you want to make sure that you always have stretch textures because what's going to happen is as you stretch the object, it's going to simultaneously stretch the texture to make everything concise and align and even, you know, have the texture in line with the object. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to look with this picture. Sorry. My dogs are like wrestling on my feet. Uh, but if you uncheck it sometimes and you stretch it and you don't have stretch textures. Oh, this is actually a perfect example. Uh, you see here how it's stretching, but the textures are not aligning with the object. So that is something very important because I do see it where people are like decorating and they make something bigger and then their textures are bugged. And it's just like, girl, it is not supposed to look like that whatsoever. So that is something that you really want to make a note of for yourself so that you do not have anything that looks wonky uh, when you're stretching it out. And I'm going to delete this. And then you have the snap, which is my favorite feature in build. So snapping is going to allow things to be aligned on the X, Y, and Z axis perfectly. Um, I just feel like even though we want our virtual spaces to emulate like real life, sometimes you really want things aligned to the grid because it just makes things look really nice in the virtual space as opposed to like how you would play something in real life. It's just a little bit different. So with the snap tool, you are able to hit this arrow here and you can dictate the different units that you want to snap things to. So I have mine set right now to 0.5. And as I drag it, you'll see these white lines. And if you hover your mouse by that point right here, it's going to snap it in place. Oh, yes. Yeah, typing snap tool is like, I don't know, like how people decorate without snapping things to the grid. <laughs> like I see people like decorate and they just do this without snap. And it's just like, why do you do that to yourself? Like that, it gives me anxiety. Um, so the great thing about the snap tool is where you, you can just like reduce this to get things really fine tuned. Let's see, I mean, that might be too fine tuned, um, but I actually use 0 0.10 a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, this might be too much for some, but another one uh, that I like is just um, 
point zero five or no point there we go so yeah point zero five is another one that I usually decorate with and I'm gonna show you why like sometimes when people decorate without a snap tool they'll try to place something right and they'll be like, oh, it's going through the wall. So then they'll do this and they're like, oh, this is not right. And then they'll do this and they're like, oh, this is not right. But if you have the snap tool, you can just start having it jump in place and it'll be literally almost perfect. There is another feature that will help you get it lined up a little bit better that we'll go over in a bit. But you can see with the snap tool, it is making this so much more easier. Now it's not floating and now I don't have to fight with it going back and forth trying to get it in the right spot. It's just snapping right where I want it to be. Uh, so honestly, I feel like if you take anything away from this video, <laughs> this live tutorial, um, just like typing said in chat, definitely utilize the snap tool if you do not have your snap tool set up. What are you doing? It's literally like one of the best things in the bull tool. So another thing that you'll have here is edit at access root. And this is pretty much re in relation to things that are linked objects. I'm going to go back to this coat rack here. So with this, you'll be editing it at the access root, which is just the point, the the base linked point. So you'll be editing it where that's at. So everything in relation uh, to the movement will be to, uh, I don't know what the access point of this is, but it will move around where that spot is. And I don't typically like doing that because sometimes it makes things look a little bit like offset or wonky. Uh, so I just prefer to have that checked off unless, you know, it calls for something to where I want it to be edited at the access route, but I typically don't edit with it. Um, so we just went over all of the tools again move rotate stretch select face edit linked select textures snapping and last but not least is highlight now the highlight is nice because you'll get to see exactly what you're working with uh, but when you're fine tuning something it can be a little bit annoying so i like to take it off so that i can see okay how close is this to the wall um, is it floating? Which, oh, this is actually floating. I'm gonna have to fix this. So this will be a good example. Um, so yes, highlight. Sometimes you always do not want to have that on, especially when you're trying to get the placement perfect. Shallon, hello, my love. How are you? All right. I need to drink some water. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated. I know y'all hear me slurring my words. I'm thirsty as hell. It is like a hundred. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Mesa, it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Oh, Jesus in heaven. Okay, Alexa, thank you. Alexa, stop. Thank you. It's 100 degrees, y'all. So I'm getting a little bit dehydrated. So let me drink some water. I had to go outside um, because I didn't check my mail yesterday or Friday. And I went to check it today. Y'all, I was almost like about to fall out. <laughs> like... I almost fell out. No. Yeah, it was the mail. Because the other day I got my package. That's right. And I forgot to get my mail. Because I'm an airhead. So I wish I would have did it all in one day. Honestly. Because in Arizona, oh my goodness. Whew, it's been so hot. All right. So now that I'm hydrated, if anybody has questions about what we went over so far, feel free to stop me. Um, I know that there is a bit of a lag, so I'll give it a minute. Uh, before we move on to the next thing. <clears throat> I'm actually drinking more water. Okay, perfect. That's much better. Whew. You will love some warm weather. I'm going to teleport you here to Arizona. And you can have all of the dry desert heat that you want, Shallon, because I am so over it and it's not even summertime. <laughs> it is not summertime yet, which is so scary to me. Okay, where did our little box go? 
there you are, little boxy. All right, so now I want to go over fine tuning things and we are gonna go to these tabs down here. So again, I'm just pressing control three and remember that is our hotkey to bring up the edit tool. Now there is also this focus tool here, which I kind of like when I'm decorating cause I just feel like I prefer it over, I don't know, using the camera tool, even though it's literally the same thing. In my mind, it's better. <laughs> so if you press control one, uh, that will bring up your focus tool. And I like it because I could just get right up in here and see where this is at because I am very anal <laughs> when it comes to uh, placing objects. So that focus tool is just chef's kiss because I'm seeing here that there is a bit of a gap. Now with this, you can zoom and the zoom is just gonna be you clicking with your mouse. And if you wanna orbit, it's gonna tell you right here that you can use control to orbit. And now we're just orbiting the camera and I can even see right here that it is floating a little bit. And then if you wanna pan, you just hold control and shift, and that's gonna allow you to pan the camera. Baby is 41 and cold, oh my goodness. I wanna go where it's 41 degrees, Shallon. Teleport me right now. Okay, so that is the focus tool. So I'm gonna use the focus tool to show you some things, but first I wanna keep going over uh, these tabs down here. Let me click on my object, go back to edit. So right here you have your general tab. Now this is where you can change the name of the object. So if I wanna name this, um, oh, it's 12 Celsius there. Oh my goodness. If I wanna name this, um, I don't know. I'm gonna name this box ball, cause it just looks like it wants to be named ball. And then you can also add a description here. Here is what you are. Now, this is important if you just wanna leave like specific notes, if you're selling things for your customers. I do know that often people that decorate for a living, they like to, you know, change the name of things. And, you know, that's just what they do. Um, and when you're doing some scripting, uh, the name of things is also super important, but we are not talking about basic scripting today. I would need a whole bottle of wine because, <laughs> um, yeah, that's just how scripting makes me feel. Now, with this tab, you'll be able to see who the creator is, who the owner of the object is, and then what group it is set to. That's right, you can also set your objects to groups and mine is currently set to my store group. And you can also set things for sale down here and then you can uh, specify who can modify this object, which I mean, you don't want people touching your stuff. So just leave that alone because only the people that you give access to your build rights should be moving your stuff. Um, so we're not even gonna focus on that right now. So that's the general tab. And then I'm gonna skip object and let's just go to features. Now features are where you're gonna do your animesh. Um, I actually have an animesh item that I made. Hold on, let me show you guys. Sorry, I got super excited. Um, that way we can go over, wait, where is it? That way we can go over how this works with animesh. Where are you? Guys, I think I lost it. Oh no. I'm not re-uploading it. There it is. Okay, so I made an animesh item and I'm gonna show you guys what the features look like. Okay, so with animesh, I gotta find the actual. And then we'll use another box for lights because I'm gonna show you guys all the features. 
we're covering everything today. So this will be our light. And then we'll use, I'm not going to really uh, flex these. Mm. We'll do that too. Um, all right. So with Animesh, typically, uh, unless, how do I put this? If you have something that is rigged and you have a script for it and you're doing some decor and it's rigged and you have animations, um, let's say it's rigged like the Second Life Skeleton. I see people um, have like rigged mesh body avatars that walk around. Um, this is how you would be able to set the animation for it. I just got to find mine. So bear with me one moment. While I'm finding this, what have y'all been up to this weekend? What has everybody been doing? I'm being nosy. Anybody run any errands? We're just here eating. You know what I had? I had salad and I had my shake. Okay, I feel like this is it. If not, we might have to go over animesh another day, child. Mm, that wasn't it. At least that's not the right animation. Okay, so I cannot find the animation that I made for this cloud. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. It's not the sippy cup. It's not this. You might have to go over this another day because I do not know where it is. But basically, there is a script for Animesh. And if you have the right animation for the correct rigged thing, what you would do. Oh, wait. Is it? Yeah, I do not know where that animation is in my inventory. But basically, if you have something that's rigged and you want to animate it, you will drop the animation in here and then you will add the Animesh script and then you would mark it as an Animesh object. But for whatever reason, I cannot find my dad one animation that I made. So there's that. <laughs> but uh, just pretend that that was perfect because my inventory is unorganized. Now, the next thing under features is I know sometimes people wonder how you make a light. So there's this checkbox down here. And as you can see, it just got bright as hell. So this is how you turn something into a light object. Now, if you are decorating and you want to set a mood with, you know, certain lighting, um, you can change the light color here. Now you can see it's a little bit blue. And we could do red lights, you know, if we want to be a little bit sexy. And if you change up your one light, this is going to look pretty good. And with lighting, um, let's see here. You can see I can make this transparent. And it's still, ooh, that pink lighting, hello. Um, anyway, you can make it transparent and you'll still see the lighting effect, which I feel like a lot of people don't use this enough anymore. I don't know if this is a lost talent in decorating, but setting the mood of a space that you're decorating with lighting is top tier. So I actually plan on doing this in my streamer room and my gaming area once it's all set up, but don't sleep on it. Okay. Like this, honestly, I, I know everybody is all about the animated neon lights, but don't sleep on setting your space with lights. Um, because it just really changes the mood of stuff, you know? So.
So I really like this pink plate. I'm not gonna keep it here. Uh, but with that, you can change the intensity of the light. You can change the radius and the fall off. And you can really just get something custom and just, just change the space entirely. I love, I love playing with it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really just love playing with lighting and getting different effects. Now, I know you're looking at this and you're like, well, if I set something transparent, Ivory, how do I see it? Right. If I accidentally click off, it's gone. And I felt like this is one of the most confusing things when I was newer to Second Life because it's just like, okay, well, you taught me how to make something transparent. Now what? There's a, a hotkey that if you press Control Alt T, that is going to bring up anything in the space that is transparent. So now as we're decorating, I could be like, wow, there's that transparent item that I was looking for. And now I know where it's at. And then if you press Control Alt T again, it's going to take that away. So that is another important tip to keep in mind, uh, because sometimes you'll have these transparent objects, you can't find them and you're trying to walk around and it's, you know, getting in the way, you can't move. So definitely want to write that down. Control Alt T to find transparent things. Now. Sometimes we want to have things that are transparent, but we want to be able to walk through them. And this is probably, ooh, I was about to get a little bit ghetto right there. I was about to clap my hands. <laughs> this is one of my biggest pet peeves ever in Second Life when people decorate. There are certain things that need to be phantom. And I feel like a lot of people don't know how to make things phantom. So let's go over this really quick, right? So let's say we have a mesh object and we want this mesh object to uh, be right here. And let me not make this transparent. Let me make it zero, right? We're using some huge mesh item and it's just, you know, taking up a certain space. But we have to be able to like walk around it or like walk by it or drive by it, whatever. Sometimes with mesh items, the bounding box is bigger than the actual item. So the item could be the size of this box, right? However, because of the bounding box, like the, the bounds area, I might get stuck trying to walk past something right here. And I know you, you all have experienced that in Second Life before, um, cause that is super common. So in order to make something phantom so that it's not blocking people and your decorations aren't giving people hell, you will go over here to the object tab. We're going to go over that now because flexi paths, I mean, that's more not for decorating. That's more for like making flexi hair. So we're not going to go over that right now. Uh, but if you go over here to the object tab where we're focusing on now, they have the ability to make something phantom. I had to turn off the flexi path for that, my bad. So when you have something phantom, you can walk through it. So now those egregiously huge mesh items that you're using to decorate, those 50 foot trees and those 40,000 feet mountains. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. People can walk around now. <laughs> but yeah, you have chow mein with beef. Ooh, that sounds so good. You've been shopping and setting up a yoga room. Oh, that sounds fun, Tara. I would love to see your yoga room when it's all finished. For sure. But yeah, so this is honestly another major like tip. Like if, if you have something that's huge and people cannot walk by it, be sure to set it to phantom. And if you need an area to where you want people to like walk by it to a certain point and you don't want people to walk through it, you can definitely utilize planes and make those transparent so that people can block. Um, but I just, I feel like that's something that people really are totally unaware of. Like you can make something phantom and then you can also make something physical. Now, when an item is physical, you'll see these a lot at different experiences. And some people use it when they decorate too. Uh, I mean, physical items, you can walk past it and it's just going to have physics. You know, it's going to interact. You can push it around. Um, I, I see this in different 
like I said, like escape rooms and something like that. So if you're decorating something interactive and you want people to like have jump scares or you want like a chair to fall when people walk into it or something like that, that is where physics comes into place. So, all right, our little box has gone through so much. So I'm gonna take the physics off and I'm gonna press control Z and now it's back to where it was. Oh, it's done. Well, Tara, you got to drop pictures for us in the Discord or something. I don't know if you're in there, but I'm nosy. I would love to see your yoga room because I want a yoga room. I do not have the space for it in my skybox right now, but I would love to live through you and your yoga room. All right. So we're still on the object tab, right? We went over um, physical. We went over Phantom, temporary objects, I mean, nobody's really using them to decorate. I hope you're not making temporary objects when you decorate because it's just going to delete, like it's going to go away. So now that we went over this, we're going to come down here and you will see this position in meters, size in meters, and rotation in degrees. Now, remember when I said that snapping is good, but sometimes you still have to fine tune it? That is where this comes into play. So, see right here, I have this gap. Now, I'm going to turn off the highlight feature. And looking here, I see that I want it to move back along the Y axis. So, that's green. And then we want to come here to the position. If you press these arrows, it's going to allow you to fine tune things to get them to where you need to be. And if you even want to get nasty with it, you can even change the numbering here and it's going to move it. You just got to be really careful when you do it. And you can get things super, super precise this way. Let me see, let's try nine, five. Now this might be a little bit neurotic to some people. Um, some people might be like, girl, I'm not doing all that. And that's fine, that's fine. Um, sometimes I do, it depends on the, my mood and it depends on the day, uh, but it's just a really good way to get something precise. Um, however, it's super easy to just use the arrows to get it where you want it to be. And Another thing is you can also use this with sizing if you want to stretch it in a really fine, like gentle way, not too much, you know, just a little bit. You can use these arrows to stretch along the X, along the Y, along the Z. And same thing with rotation. I typically don't use these um, for rotating or for size, because again, with the snap tool, if you go here to rotate, you can snap along the axis when you're rotating, which is the way I highly recommend it. I typically use the position and the arrow keys. Blocks, hello, how are you? Long time, no chat. Are you coming back to Second Life? Is that why you want a decor tutorial today? Are you planning on making a grand re-entrance? <laughs> All right, so we went over fine-tuning things with these arrow keys. Now, there's some other stuff in here, like these different shapes. And honestly, no one really uses these anymore because of mesh, but if you want to play with these yourself, you can change this object to anything. You can change it to a cylinder. You can change it to a prism. You can change it to a torus. And it's going to keep pretty much the same size and position. But again, this is more so like a uh, second life a decade ago. Nobody really builds with these anymore. Um, oh my, they even still have sculpted. That's terrible. <laughs> Sculpties are a thing of the past and they're honestly a thing of hell. I'm not even going to go over them. Uh, but yes, so you can change it. But honestly, like I said, you don't really have to worry about anything under this menu. 
because we all have mesh items. So nobody's really going to be using anything on this side. The important thing to keep in mind with this is the position, the size, the rotation, uh, making things phantom so people can walk through it. And then most importantly, I'm saving this for last in the object tab because this is so important. And I know we have all been there. I'm pretty sure people in chat that have been um, decorating for some time that are hanging out, you have experience to where you might be trying to drop a texture on this box or uh, you might be trying to delete something. And then all of a sudden you look down on your floor and you're like, why does my floor have a picture of me and Dakota? Or like, why is my carpet the texture of jeans <laughs> there is like nothing nothing worse than seeing that you fucked up your house or like you fucked up the build and or like you moved it or something like that like why is the house crooked like when did this happen so the major takeaway from the uh object tab for me at least is this locked feature and you see i have my skybox locked so if you have your home locked, you cannot delete it. Uh, you cannot change the texture or anything. Like it's completely locked. It's fixed. Um, so no more horror stories of accidentally texturing your home or moving it or deleting it. Because if I try to delete this right now, I'm going to hit the delete button. It's going to give me a pop-up. At least one of the items you have selected is locked. Are you sure you want to delete these items? And you could be like, girl, no, cancel. So this is honestly going to save you so much heartache if you're new at our second life and you're just getting started. This locked feature, the snap tool, just your two best friends for sure. You're waiting for second life too. Oh, that's never happening. Sonia, you agree sculpts are no fun. Oh my gosh. Yes. Do you remember when you learned to build an SL and you were taught sculpts, hours of hell? Yeah, Sonia, like sculpties. I don't know why that was ever a thing. Like, I don't understand the thought process when we had sculpties. Like, I, I don't know why we couldn't just upload mesh. Like, I would love for Second Life to, to, to just explain what that whole nightmare was. Been there, did that, but it can be fixed. Yes, it can be fixed for sure. But I just feel like fixing it is just ugh, always the daunting part. It's just always best to keep it locked for sure. Now I'm going to pull up this again, control three, pull up my edit menu. Oh, control three. All right. So we covered a lot. And again, if you have any questions or if something I'm saying is not clear, feel free to stop me. Um, we are about to visit the content tab. Now, this content tab is basically where you'll just drop stuff in. Now, if you're decorating and let's say, um, instead of this being a box, let's say that this is a drink platter, right? And you're like, you know what? I want to be able to have people at the space um, be able to click this platter and like get food or like get drinks or something like that. Um, if you want to take that time and have that attention to detail, if the item doesn't come like that, uh, what you would do is find the appropriate scripts and find the drink that you want, and you'll just drop it into the contents and click it and go. So if you also need something scripted, like if you want this to be like an animated sign, or if you want this to rotate or float or whatever that you're doing with your decorating, this is where you will drop in your scripts. So that's pretty much the content tab um, for decor. That's pretty much all we need to discuss regarding the content tab is if you have to drop any scripts or if you wanted to dispense anything, you have to put any objects in there. Um, or even if you wanted to give out like landmarks or note cards or whatever, you'll put everything in that content tab. So that is pretty much straightforward. We don't have anything else to talk about. Um, I think the content tab is just pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Now to go over texturing, texturing, texturing. So we already discussed how you wanted to make sure that you have stretch texture selected. I always have mine checked. Um, honestly, I don't think there's ever a reason to have it unchecked because as we saw earlier, it can get pretty scary. 
So, <clears throat> sculpting was hell, yeah. Honestly, like, it's funny, though, because all sculpties, like, looking back, anything that was ever a sculpty was ugly. <laughs> like, Second Life used to just be so ugly because everything was a sculpty, and it's just, like... I remember thinking anything that was a sculpty looked so good, but like looking back on Second Life of Yesteryear, oh my gosh, it was hideous, but it was fun. It was a fun time and it was something fun to like figure out how to use. But for texturing, uh, you have three main textures here that you would use to texture something. And I'm gonna bring up something here. Now, this is going to change in the future because we are supposed to be getting PBR textures um, so we can have like mirrors and reflective surfaces and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and make this box blank and then set the color to white. Okay. Now, when you're texturing something, there's three different maps that you have to use in Second Life. There is the diffuse map, which is going to be the texture that you see. This is a diffuse map. This is an example. This is the base texture. You have your bump map, and your bump map is going to be detailing. And then you have your shininess map. That's going to make something shiny. So right here, I have some concrete. And let's say I'm decorating something and I'm trying to build something up where it needs concrete. And I'm going to put my diffuse map, my texture, or whatever, if it's a diffuse or if it's a, just a plain texture, you're going to drag that into the texture map. So, again, just like anything else, you'll see the texture on it. But nowadays... Uh, People that sell full perm textures, they also sell the normal map and the specular maps to make things shiny because Second Life has come a long way. So if you have those, let's say you buy textures because you're trying to make something custom and you're decorating something and you want it to look a specific way, in order to use all three of these maps, all you do is just click on the different button and... It might be hard to see here because of my one light, but we got a little bit more detail with this because we dropped the normal map in. And then once we drop in the specular map, is it my graphics? No, it's the one light. One second. Okay. As I was saying, once we drop this in, you'll start to see that it looks a little bit less flat. Let me go ahead and change my one light. Why am I back in midday? Girl. Bear with me, y'all. I could have sworn I had my right one light. I feel like I always do this. I have to tell y'all to hold on so I can get my one late rate. One day, one day I'll be better. Where is it? Okay. Okay. All right. So now that my graphic settings are better, you can see that this looks a lot less flat. So if you want your decorating space or decor space to look a little bit more realistic if you're using a custom texture and if it comes with the normal map and the specular map that's how you drop them in and then with the specular you can make this as shiny as you want some things don't need to be too shiny but you know use it to your own discretion um oh now you can start to see the shininess on it so it went from just being a flat little, you know, regular 2D texture. And now we can see that it's reflecting with that specular map. So 
definitely, definitely keep that in mind. If you are retexturing something, if it comes with those maps, use them because uh, it's going to make it look 10 times better since the texture you're using wasn't baked into the object. Now, sometimes when you're texturing and you have things stretched, the texture is going to look a little bit wonky. So we have the ability here to change the scaling of the texture. And sometimes if you just want things to look a little bit more detailed, you can do that too. So in order to do that, you'll see the horizontal scale, the vertical scale, and you can offset it too, but I mean, it depends on what you're working with. Right now, we're just gonna play with the horizontal and vertical scaling of this. And I'm just gonna go back to my texture map here to make sure I have this right. Now you can make this a bit more smaller. And now the texture actually looks a little bit better. And this is good with, you know, huge objects that you're texturing because sometimes the textures just look a little bit stretched out. So that's how you can manipulate it and get it to look a little bit better when you're working with big objects. And sometimes if you have like two different things and I don't know why that was like that, and you want them to, Anyways, that didn't happen. <laughs> and let's just say, you know, you have something and the textures don't line up. Let me see. Perfectly. So you'll just be able to go ahead and fine tune the textures until you get them to look even so that when you put them next to each other, they line up a little bit better and you don't have any like wonky looking textures. Now, this is definitely something that you're gonna have to play with so that they line up nicely. Um, I know there might be like a better trick, but I literally, when I have to line up my textures, I just do it manually. Um, I think there's a way to... No, I never get that to work. Anyway, so yeah, that's also something. Now with texturing, you also have the, we already went over color. You also have the option to make a texture full bright. Now use this with caution. Not everything in Second Life has to be full bright. Not everything in Second Life has to be full bright. It just does not. <laughs> Having something be full bright does not mean that it looks better. So just use full bright with your discretion. Some things do look better with full brightness and some things just do not. <laughs> so I, I feel like full bright kind of gets overused in SL. Uh, it really just depends. Like I think this concrete might look a little bit nicer at full bright, but you know, just again, don't overuse it because everything will be full bright and you know, it's your monitor is gonna blow up from over brightness. Now you also have the transparency that we went over earlier to make things transparent. And then you also have the glow feature. If you want things to be a little bit like glowy and make something neon, that's how you'll do that. And then the great thing with texturing is that you can always texture by face. So let's say I just want this face to glow and I want it to be a little transparent. You can do that. So you can definitely get a custom look, get some things going. I actually think that looks kind of cool. So we went over texturing. Um, I don't think I missed anything with texturing. Just looking at everything. No, I did not. We went over texturing, we went over objects, and then we went over general stuff. Now I want to show you guys some cool features to get things lined up. Because sometimes in Second Life, stuff is crooked. <laughs> you can get stuff to line up with the snap tool. Um, but honestly, there is an easier way. So we're going to be looking at something first called copy selection. So with copy selection, you first want to make sure that you have the object selected that you want to copy. Now, I do want to give a disclaimer. I don't know if Zan is still here, but Zan probably remembers this because somebody was trying to play me like I didn't know what I was talking about at one point. Sometimes with copy selection, especially with mesh items, it is not always going to work perfectly. 
Sometimes you might copy the selection and it's, it's going to be crooked because of the way the object is. Like it's not always going to be streamlined and perfect. And that's why we have another tool called the align tool that we'll go over next. <laughs> but with copy selection, what you do is you have the item that you want to copy and make, you know, a row of, and then you go here to the create tool. And then you want to make sure that you have selected copy selection and then center copy. So with that, let's say you're working on like a fence or you're building walls or something like that. And you want them to be perfectly lined up next to each other. You've hit the face that you want it to copy along. And like magic, it's lined up perfectly. Oh, and then you also want to make sure you have keep tool selected as well. But yeah, so that is going to get you a nice little set of walls that's all lined up perfect. You can see everything is even. And that tool is honestly top tier. So if you don't want to bug with like snapping things and whatnot, and you just want it to all line up perfectly, that copy selection tool is goaded. <laughs> Excuse me, I need some more water. Oh, the desert is not being kind to me today. Ooh, okay. The desert is not being kind to me today at all. <clears throat> now, in addition to the copy selection tool, there is also the align tool. Because like I said, sometimes things aren't always going to line up the way you want them to right so for this example i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make this square so you guys can see it better i'm gonna make this one pink and if you ever want to copy something um i don't know if i went over this i probably didn't but if you want to make a copy of something, you just hold shift and you drag it while you're in move and that's going to make a copy. And we're going to make this one sky blue. All right. So you have these two objects and you weren't able to copy selection, but you do want them to be nice and aligned and perfect. So the first way that you can use the align tool is to get things to touch. Now I'm going to have this pink one selected. And I know that I want this blue one to align next to it and to touch it. So you wanna make sure that after you have the first box selected, I have the pink box selected, you wanna hit the align and then you'll see all of these arrows. Now these arrows, when you're using the align tool, the object that you wanna move, you wanna hit that arrow to make it go in that direction. So in order to start aligning things, you wanna hold down shift and you're gonna select the object that you want to move. So I'm gonna select this teal box right here. So now you see I have both selected and now the arrows are around both objects, right? And again, I said I wanted these to touch in the middle. So I know I need this teal box to move next to the pink box. So in order to get things to touch, you want to make sure that before you press the arrow, you're holding down shift. And I need for this box to move next to the pink one so it touches. So again, when you want things to touch with the align tool, hold shift, and then you want to move the box in the direction that you want it to go. And now these two items are lined up perfectly. Textures aren't jumping really and they're perfect, they're at the same distance, and they're good to go. So that is one way to use the align tool. And there's no fuss, there's no playing with the different axes to, to get it to line up, it just does it. Because the align tool is goaded, okay? Um, so another way that you can use the align tool, and I'm just gonna hit Control Z. Now, Let's just say you have two objects, maybe they're like similar or they're the same or whatever. And you got one over here, you got another one on this side. 
Um, this really comes into play with roads. I, honest, I honestly want to like TP to the ground to show you guys because I think roads are probably one of the things that people struggle with placing out of anything. Like I've always see, see roads that are kind of fucked up. Um, but you have these similar objects and you need for them to be lined up. Now you want to use the align tool in the same way. So hit align. And I'm starting with this pink box and I know that I want this blue box to be next to it. So I'm going to hit shift and then you see the arrows are surrounded everywhere. So we need to bring this blue box forward. I brought it forward. Right. So now they're lined up. OK. And now I need to bring it down. And I'm not holding shift because I'm not worried about them touching at this point. I just want for them to be even. So now I'm just going to hit the down arrow. And you see how that just easily snaps it into place. And now if I need for these roads to touch, I'm just going to hold shift again and put it in place like that. Like the align tool, honestly, is such a time saver, a lifesaver. And your shit won't be crooked. <laughs> that's that's the truth. The align tool will not have yourself crooked. And if you want me to show you guys that one more time, or if you want to actually see what that looks like with actual roads, uh, let me know uh, before we just get started decorating. Because that is honestly pretty much it. I do have one more thing I need to show you guys um, before I just start doing some decorating myself. So let's say you don't want to like use the align tool or you just have something to where, you know what, I'm trying to align it. And because of the mesh, I just don't like the way it looks because sometimes when you're aligning two different mesh objects um, that aren't the same and you're trying to get them to line up, sometimes it just looks a little bit janky. So you have another option here. If you come to the object tab, again, I hit control three to bring this back up, object. So I want this blue box in the same spot as this pink box here. So next to the position, size, and rotation, you'll see these C's and these P's. And you're probably like, what the heck is this? <laughs> so this is just copy and pasting. So you'll be able to copy the position of the pink box. And I'm just going to copy the position. I'm going to copy the size. And I'm going to copy the rotation. You can copy them all at the same time without an issue. So if I want this blue box to be in the same spot as the pink box, that's when I'm just going to hit paste. Oh, I hit the wrong key. <laughs> Don't be like me, y'all. I definitely hit the wrong key. Okay, it's back. So you want to hit the P. What the heck? Did I just hit the same P? Hold on, y'all. This is a technical difficulty. Can't reposition. Denied. Is my sim fool? Anyway, I think I hit the same P twice. What the heck? Cannot reposition. Denied. Hold on, y'all. I think I'm having some technical difficulties. Okay, I must have had something else copied. I don't know what the heck I just did. Anyway, I don't know what that was, <laughs> but like I was saying, uh, make sure you have the right object selected and then copy, and then you want to hit the P under it to paste it where you want it to be. Let me change the color. Second Life really just did not like me then, and it was trying to embarrass me because I'm like, what the fuck was that? Anyways, so back to the example I was trying to do as I was doing. So you have this object and it's over here and you want it to be in the same spot as the other one. Um, so we're going to go to the pink one and go back to object and hit copy the parameters here. And then you're going to come here and hit the second P and then paste it into place. I don't know why that was doing that. And now you can see they're both in the same spot. And now you can just move it 
if you want to move it this way, if you want to move it that way, at least you know that they're lined up and what have you. Like, I can move it up this way, actually. That way you can make like a shelf, you know? So that is how you can get things aligned. So you have the option to use copy selected. You have the option to use the align tool. And then you have the option to copy and paste the different parameters, uh, the coordinates, I should say, the coordinates of the object and paste it onto another one. So that is pretty much decorating as a whole. And you can put all of these different tips together to get your things placed precisely. I'm going to delete these boxes. And I welcome you to stay and hang out with me for a little bit because I am going to decorate. And I'm kind of trying to like stress test YouTube <laughs> to see if it's ever going to drop me. And I feel like I've been streaming and doing this tutorial for quite some time. And we have not dropped yet. So I'm just trying to see how long I can go without getting kicked out. And I'm going to start in my kitchen. So I'll be decorating for a little bit. But that was the tutorial I wanted to go over. So I hope that helped people. I hope you learned something new. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. But for now, Mama's got a kitchen to decorate because this, this home is um yeah it's it's not done um so before i start a two for one stream let's go yes i'm so glad that the stream is running smooth i don't know like what miracle i had to like pray on but I was saying a lot of different prayers to get YouTube to work. I will say we had so much fun on Kick though. Kick was a time, okay? Kick will go down in history. If you didn't make it to the Kick streams that were a little bit unhinged, I'm sorry. You missed out. But <laughs> we had some fun on Kick for sure. Um, but I got this from Zacher. Yeah, uh, knock on wood. I got this from Zach or Napa. No, no one's at the door. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the dog. Um, yeah, so I got this from Zach. Or, so today we're going to start decorating my kitchen. And then I also got a new sectional. So I'm going to put that out as well. But I am going to run to the ladies room and I'm also going to grab an allergy medicine pill <laughs> real quick. Um, Because like I said, the desert is not being on my side today. And I wish it was like being kind to me because I'm I don't know if y'all could tell I'm so congested and I keep like stumbling on my words because I'm so congested. So I'm going to go take some Zyrtec because I just realized I forgot to take my allergy medicine this morning. And I will be back in a moment. Yes, Shallon, we had a time, honey. Um, I'm thinking about, well, we'll see. I'll be back. And then I'll say what I'm thinking about. One moment. <music>
I feel so much better. <laughs> I feel so much better. Tipsy, hi, how are you? Happy time zone. Welcome in. Welcome on in. Okay. Whew. Hopefully that allergy medicine starts to hit soon, but <laughs> not to be gross, but I really had to like blow my nose and cough badly because <laughs> I'm just, oh my gosh, the weather has been terrible, 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 terrible. All right. So let me see. I really have to organize my inventory. Like I am afraid of my own second life inventory. I just, every time I try to do it, I just get overwhelmed and I don't, I don't want to do it no more. Um, I wish I could pay some, not my mic coming on in world. I wish I could pay somebody to do it, but I don't trust anyone to do that. Like, if there was a way for people to remotely organize your inventory for you, I would love that. All right. So this is the Zacker Anna's Kitchen. I have the PG version because y'all know I don't be doing none of that nasty stuff. But I thought that this was so cute for this space. And it actually has interactive, like, cooking pots and it has stuff in the refrigerator so that we're not cooking air which you know as my historians we were no stranger to to cooking air on our non-roleplay kitchens so just trying to make sure that this is not floaty but I was like yeah I want to like cook more and do stuff but the last time I did a cooking stream I was like wow they really watched me cook air because my stove did not have anything interactive I had no pots but that's how I know y'all love me because yeah your girl was actually cooking nothing it was actually just cooking water in a pot because there was nothing to see there so I think I might need to make my avatar shorter because I'm literally the same height as the fridge, but I feel like I'm the same height as the fridge in real life anyway, um, just about, because <laughs> I'm really tall. Uh, so maybe it's not too bad, but oh, my hover height is, I'm floating too. Yeah, I might have to get a little bit shorter because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm too tall in second life. All right, so I'm just going to put this against the wall. And see here. Yes, well seasoned air. <laughs> the best of the best air. You know, I, I I gotta I gotta feed myself right. Gotta feed myself right. And this is why it takes me so long to decorate y'all. I just be looking way too much to see if something is floating um but i'm determined to get the skybox completely finished so okay and then i think i want to have the stove against oh this is the sink i thought that was the stove where's the stove oh there's the stove does this have an island there is an island okay now, looking at this kitchen, I think I might rearrange my dining room um, to have it, like, right here instead of on the back wall. And maybe I'll make this, like, an office area. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I really do hope that that fully in-depth uh, live how to build on Second Life tutorial was super helpful. But like I was talking for a, a good while. Yeah. It's like, am I over explaining help? I don't know. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I think I was um, 
a teacher in a past life because I just love explaining stuff. But sometimes I think I'd be talking too much. So let's see here. Not boy, I did it too much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm just gonna copy this and then paste the Z axis, and now they're the same. Perfect. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Perfect. So now, oh, okay. So that one doesn't work for this one. Oh, I'm, glad. I'm glad you guys are decorating together. But yeah, like I said, I do hope it was helpful. Cause like I said, I, I feel like sometimes I over explain. <laughs> I do over explain, but I was like, am I over explaining too much? But no, I know sometimes like the build mode in Second Life is not completely user friendly. So I'm glad you were able to enjoy it. Let's see here. Alan, you know you got that teaching ministry. <laughs> yeah, I, I was um I was a teacher in a past life. I'm sure. I'm sure that I was Miss Ivory. Where do I want my sink to be? I don't like doing dishes and I don't like cooking, but still gonna have this all set up. I spent my morning um, working on my Sims 4 save file. And I feel like this is the biggest Sims Let's Play that I've ever prepped for. So I'm kind of all decored out as I'm looking at stuff. Um, I'm just like, damn, I'm decorating again. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get this done. By the way, you you make the lifetime of chat bubbles a little longer oh yes yes um let me see i can definitely do that i still have stream labs up but yeah that's probably the biggest <laughs> biggest sims project because what i did was i installed a blank save file and I have to go and fill every single lot. But this is like the let's play that I want to do on YouTube. Uh, and I just been working on it and I just want it to be super aesthetic. So let's see here. Bubble style timing. work but yeah I feel like it was really ambitious I kind of a part of me just wants to like start over and find someone that has a save file where like some builds are already on there but I'm like you know what I can do it I can do it I wanted it to be done this week but honestly that's just not not happening like at all because I'm only on Willow Creek and I still have a couple of worlds to go. Uh, but I was like, okay, I need a break from The Sims. Let me get on Second Life and finish decorating my skybox. Because I don't want this to be another unfinished home. Um, my last couple of homes in Second Life, I just started them and never finished them. So I really want the skybox to be finished. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I was considering streaming on Twitch tonight after I make dinner. Um, Got to make dinner and wash my hair. And W-A-L-K, the dogs. And then I might do a little bit of my breed out challenge because I've been having so much fun with that. But again, 
I think The Sims is about to turn my brain into mush because that's all I've literally been doing the past couple of days. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't like how that's lined up right there. Let me just freehand this real quick. Okay, now, let's copy and then paste it over there. I don't know why I was acting like that earlier. Second Life is being a little ghetto. I didn't really like that. Let me try to align these. Why is it like that? Oh, shit. I am... Okay. <laughs> this is definitely a cabinet for the ceiling and not... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So... <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. So, like, why is it not on the same level? That belongs on the ceiling. Okay. Well cabinet angle floor that makes so much sense now wow okay let me just put that over there wow amazing who would have thought all right let's see well no because now is it Oh, now all of the chat bubbles are gone. You're legally blind. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let me see here. Let me align these. I still need to get my contact, Shallon. Um, I have yet to get them. Why is it like? Okay. 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 Chat bubble. Oh, I see them. Perfect. Okay. I see the chat bubble now. Perfect. Like, is it broken? Did I break it? Because it would be like me to break it. Oh. I'm just aligning these cabinets. I wanted to go that way. Oh gosh. I guess they're aligned, but I don't like the way they line up like that. Mm. I mean, it's second life. What can you do? I just don't like the way that marble looks like that. I'll probably change the texture. We'll see. Right, and now I'm gonna bring it up this way. Why is it still disappearing? Help. I think I might have to delay before visible. I'm gonna change the chat bubble to 900 seconds, 9,000 seconds, okay? I don't know why they're disappearing still. Chat bubble. <gasps> at bub test every time someone says legally blind you start singing legally blonde in your head from the musical I have not seen that in so long okay that's let me get this out my wall. Okay. So what I am going to force myself to do is not worried about how 
perfectly things are lined up at first because I feel like I tend to do that as you just see and then I get caught up in trying to fix one thing for like 40,000 hours instead of um just letting it be uh because you know perfectionism ADHD I, I just get really hyper focused on stuff so I'm just gonna start placing cabinets where I want them to be and then I will align them so let's see right there and then this is an upper cabinet I believe I don't want to make that same mistake this is definitely an upper cabinet I actually like this a lot better than my last kitchen. I feel like this is more my style. And I just think my my last kitchen, as much as I love my farm, like my last kitchen was a little like farmhouse chic-esque. And it's just like, mm, really wasn't what I was going for. But it was cute though. It just wasn't for me. Um... Love new product. Okay, I'll do my best. I don't know why I think I could squeeze another cabinet in here. No, and I can't. Oh, well. Mm -mm. I don't like that fridge hanging off. Okay, so that is going to end up looking something like that. And. We got the two drawer, the three drawer. I'm gonna use this cabinet as well. So I'll just do a quick placement because I think that would be much quicker than me trying to fuss over everything. And there are hotkeys too. I always forget to use these uh, when you're in build mode. So there's move. And then when you're in move, if you want to rotate, you can just hold control to rotate. And if you need to stretch it, control and shift, that's going to stretch it out. Um, I don't know why I always forget to use these because they're literally right there. And there I go clicking it again. I think it's just habit. Um, oh, child. I think it's just habit. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Ivory said we didn't see her flopping. You have all four eyes on, but just for her. Thank you. Thank you, Shallon. That's why I love you. That's why I love y'all. Just, just pretend you don't see it. Pretend it does not exist. Okay. Now, where I want my sink to be, I need a dishwasher, help. I don't like washing dishes by hand. That's so archaic. Okay, um, so we might hit up a store. We might hit up a store really quick because who's doing dishes? Not me, <laughs> not I. That's not the role play I want for myself. No, ma'am. In real life, I'd be so sad when I have to actually wash dishes by hand and I just can't throw it in the dishwasher if it's not dishwasher safe. That literally gives me actual, like, sadness. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, this is... Mm. I'm gonna have to finesse something here because this is not... Yeah, let's see here. So I often like to finesse things. So I'm gonna hit edit linked. And I know that I need for this cabinet to close this space. So I just wanna see what it looks like and hopefully it does not, like the textures don't look bad when I stretch it. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a no for me. That's a no. Let's go to the store really quick because I really do want a dishwasher. Um, my heart is breaking though because this is not going to be even and I'm really just going to have to finesse some of these cabinets. I'm going to have to stretch them. 
And I'm mm, honestly, when I do stuff like that, it takes me a while because I'm so particular. Vlog with Ari Bell. When is it for Android? When is Second Life for Android? Oh, like the mobile app? Um, honestly, we do not have a release date yet, and they haven't released any more news. But I know that when they released the official mobile app, they did say that they are releasing it all together. So it's going to be available on all mobile platforms. I'm going to go back to DBY. <clears throat> However, if you do want to experience Second Life Mobile, there is a third party app, uh, Ari Bell, and it's called Speedlight. Do not get Speedlight from the App Store. Um, <laughs> I try to explain that to people from one of the last videos I did on Speedlight. Uh, just go Google Speedlight and use the actual website because you can use it as a browser and you can use Second Life that way. However, the world's not going to be too interactive. So just keep that in mind. All right. Ooh, pots of pit. Ooh. Wait, why do I actually like this? Wait, why does this look so good? Hmm. Hmm. Why do I really like this island? Okay. I do not need a new kitchen. I do not need a new kitchen. I'm not even walking in there because I don't need a laundry room either. I do not have the space for it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, oh, guys, why am I in love with this kitchen? Let me see. Cornbread, chicken. Oh, the role play. The role play. And there's a washer and dryer. Hello. And it's a smart refrigerator. Oh! <gasps> Oh, guys, why did I come here? Why did I come here? I said I wanted a dishwasher, right? Yes, I did say that. Um, I just want to look at the animations. Just, just curious. <laughs> you love that elegance kitchen? Same. I'm just curious. Oh, guys, why do I love this kitchen? Tara, you have all her kitchens. <sighs> I don't have any like DBY kitchen stuff because I really haven't been role playing for a bit. So I don't have any of their kitchens. But why am I in love? And I can clean. What? Okay, so I feel like that kitchen that I'm using might actually end up going in my London home. We have to do a stream or redecorate that. It depends on how much this is, though, child. Because I'm not trying to spend too much. I'm not trying to put too much money today. Oh, it's only two thousand one hundred and ninety nine Linden, and I have four K on this account right now. Does this not come with it? BBY is the goat for interactive living. I see. Okay, so this includes the cupboards, the countertops, the sink, the island, the oven, dishwasher, seats, lamps, countertop, work sound bench, bento animations, HUD, and laundry space, plus more. What? Okay, let's see what else. Oh, this is my dream kitchen. Stop it. What? I'm in love. I am in love. Hello? They don't got no liquor. Oh, I see the vodka. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. There's McDonald's in the microwave. Super realistic for me. Because <laughs> I don't like to cook these days. Oh, man. Even though it's supposed to be on my healthy... My healthy keto kick. It's been rough, y'all. I'm struggling. All right, so this has the Magnolia Kitchen. How much is this? $2,599. This kitchen is really speaking to me. So let's see. 
I did not plan on buying a new kitchen today. I, like, I'm not even going to stunt. Um, we'll see. Because it could very well be that I get that kitchen. I like these refrigerators, too. Let me go upstairs before we go back. Oh, this doesn't stop me. What? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I am Ivory Snow and you cannot, you cannot block me from going upstairs. How dare you? I would like to speak to your manager, DBY. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. Where is management? You're a huge fan. You play SL2. Well, welcome on in. Happy time zone to you. I hope you're having a good day, the Royal and you twins. Oh man, this would have been perfect in the last house. I like this better than the other laundry set I have. I don't like doing laundry either. Oh, now she busting it open at the washing machine. I need this. I too want to bust it open at a washing machine. Let me see. Waiting catching oh i love it okay so i might have to come back here low-key i've been thinking of getting a different house um but i told myself i am going to stay in this specific skybox for a couple of months um this area is decorated and clearly the kitchen i want a, a different kitchen this one is interactive. I do like this kitchen, but I just feel like for the My Story role play that I want to do and like vlogging and stuff. I, oh, so yeah, this has food. Let me see, single. But I just feel like that DBY kitchen has a lot like of options, but I would love to put the Zachar one in my Linden home. You feel you, your fridge and SL is crazy. You built it yourself out of so many items and you love it so much, but now it takes up more than 50 prints. Oh my goodness. You have to put pictures of your fridge in Discord because now I want to see it. But I would be sad to like have to pick that up, especially if you're trying to save on prints. I would just be like, I worked so hard on this. Uh, how do you jump? You jump hitting the page up button. That's how you jump. But be careful, because if I jump too high, I might fly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am, I'm walking away from the kitchen because, yeah, I am I am now um, considering getting that DBY one. Everybody that just joined the stream is probably like, this girl said this is a decorating and tutorial stream, and I have not seen an ounce of decorating or tutorial yet. I do apologize, y'all. Um, we are decorating, I swear, I promise. Uh, but I am putting out this sofa that I got. Uh, some of you were able to watch an Easter stream that I did on Kick where I won a couple of gift cards and I went to fourth wall and I used my $600 gift card that I won on Easter to get this sectional uh, because I did say that I wanted a sectional in this area. And I only had to pay an extra like 300 Linden or so. That's not what I wanted to do, goodness. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm really gonna like this sofa. Let's see here, let me turn my transparencies off. Okay. Coco, hello, how are you? Happy time zone. Right? I'm trying to go to Typing's house to eat. Give me 30 seconds, you're crashing. Oh, goodness. I think Second Life, like, has been a little bit crashy lately. And not honestly, that's kind of why I took a break for a little while from Second Life. Because at one point, I was just crashing and freezing so much. And I was like, I know it's not my computer. I know it's not me. So I just think Second Life is going through some changes. Who knows what they're up to? They'll never tell us. Okay, so this is not floating.
I like the sectional, but I think I want to switch gears. I don't think I want my TV right there. Um, and I might honestly get a different fire. Oh shit. I might get a different fireplace. Let me see. Let me move all of this. Gosh, I forgot the books. No. Okay. Whatever. I don't know why I wouldn't go back to its previous position. Uh, not a jumping back. Child, listen. Second Life is going through it today. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, there we go. Now it's back in position. So I'm going to move all of this this way. Now, when you're manipulating linked objects, just be careful. Like, if you link something together, be sure that that is what you want to do. Because sometimes when you have to unlink that, oh, it's going to be a bitch. So. But sometimes if you link items together, it does reduce your print count depending on how the creator made the item. They made it right. It's going to reduce that. I think I need a little bit more curtains over here. These curtains I honestly love. They're not anything fancy. I literally ripped these out of the Ansu Midnight Skybox. And I don't know why, but I'm just so in love with them. Um, I definitely plan on getting like better curtains, but for now they just serve their purpose and they make me happy. Uh, so yeah, those are the ones I'm going with. And... Let's bring my TV here. I do need to get a new TV. Where was I earlier? And I saw a TV and I was like, yeah, I like that. Forget. Place looking good so far. You're planning to do the same thing. Time for a change. Yeah, honestly, Coco, like I miss my home, but it was just too big. Like I honestly did not need that space as much as I loved the space and it was beautiful and the landscaper just did a phenomenal job like making sure that the land looked good um after like I did all of my rooms um I did my bedroom the bathroom uh you know the nursery and all of that uh, before I added my final decor touches I was just like why, why do I have this space? Uh, cause I, I would never be there. So it's like, you know, it's time to move back to a sky box. So now I'm penthouse living and I like it. I'm really enjoying it. Take this down a point two five. Okay. It's still floating. Oh no, it's good. That's just the shadow. Okay. I gotta change the placement of that, but yeah, I kinda like the sectional over here a little bit better. And this here for now. I don't like that because it feels like I'm at a store. Okay, we're going to leave the house one more time uh, because I want to go back to that store that had that TV I was interested in. Um, So we're going to take a field trip. Let me look at my teleport history. Hopefully I wasn't anywhere super inappropriate. I mean, if I was, that's my business anyway. But y'all know, I don't like exposing myself. Minimal. Was that it? Was it black? No. I think it was this. Oh, the pick of your fridge is up there. Let me see. You too. It's only you right now. I got Zuby babies and cats downsizing. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, for me, it's uh me and my two bot babies. So I'm just like... I don't really need a big old space. And, you know, I thought that, um, 
I thought I would be hosting a lot in Second Life, and it's just like, mm, no, I really don't have people over like that either, so... Oh, Timmy, this fridge is... Oh, my gosh. I love it. And I'm so sad that you have to take it apart. What the hell? That's so nice. Don't be shy, Timmy. Drop all of the shopping links to everything. I'm pretty sure people like Shallon and I want to shop Timmy's Fridge Essentials. We need it. Okay, so right now we are at Zadig, Zadig, something like that. Let me make sure my mic isn't on. Okay, it's not. So I saw this TV earlier and I was captivated. I was like, wow, this is something that I want. Um, I just need to see how much it cost. Let's see here. Oh, this is super cheap. What the heck? Oh, it's display only. Is it modifiable? Next owner can modify. I mean, I really don't watch TV in Second Life like that anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. But I just thought that was a really nice TV. I got that Skybox already. Just browsing here. Yeah, I really like this TV a lot. And I also like this chair set. How much is this? What? Is this a sale? I'm buying it. <laughs> I'm buying it. 140 London. Okay. I like this too. I honestly just want this right here. Okay. Um, but yes, so this TV is going home with me. I thought it was more expensive than what it is. So it's mine. All right, back home. Oh, Tara, um, if you're in the Discord, make sure that you react to the rules so that you can see everything. Uh, once you react to the rules, you should be... Uh, oh, wait, I'm in the outlet section? Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Because I'm like, why is it so cheap? I want to go to the main store then. Because I want to see what they have. I've never shopped them before. Oh, he looks so friendly. Let me see. Coco's like, girl, it's cheap because you are shopping the sales. Be for real. <laughs> By the way, you're going to do a whole YouTube video with links to every item in your house and once it's done. Okay, perfect. I will be looking out for that. You didn't take it apart. You can link everything to you later. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm confused now. I'm confused. I feel like I'm always lost in Second Life. Okay. This is the discount area, right? How do I get to your main area? You know what? I should be decorating right now anyway. Tara, you were trying to send you the invite. You're already in the pool club. Yeah, just make sure that you react to the rules. And when you react to the rules, you'll be able to see everything in the server. Okay, I, I got a job to do. <laughs> I'll have to go back here. Fallon, you just feel like you have to because to you it was always struggle to you to find good items. And now you got a feeling of what and where to shop. You feel comfortable to suggest. Yeah, that's like the thing with Second Life. It's like... There's so many options too. And it's just like, sometimes you buy something and it's just like, well, like, is this, uh, is this a good quality item? Like, is it, you know, going to be laggy? Is it too crummy? But I feel like once you 
get comfortable and you've been around in second life and you know what's quality and what's not, it's just so fun to share your finds with people. That's why I put that um that shopping channel in there. Yeah, I definitely want to move this here. But now what am I going to do with the high chairs? Oh. oh, that's right. I'm actually getting different high chairs because these high chairs are too big for Dakota and Devante. I actually have to get them something or I can mesh something, which we all know that's never going <laughs> to happen anytime soon. But I need to uh, get high chairs that are good for lullabies. Um, they're just too small, too small for those high chairs. Thank you, Coco. Yeah, I, again, I be telling y'all, I got ADHD for real. Um, so it's really easy for me to get sidetracked. Uh, for sure. Okay. And then this. Open this up. Right. And a TV. Open. Hi, Parker. How are you? No, you're fine. You are right on time. Earlier, I did a tutorial and now I'm just decorating in real time. But I hope you're having a great day. I definitely did open that twice. That's why I have so much crap in my inventory. But yeah, this is my first stream back, Parker. And so far, so good. Um, YouTube did tell me at one point that there was an error, but it looks like it's correcting itself. So hopefully it's not buffering. Let me switch back to a fuller screen. I just feel like YouTube is just, uh, I don't even know. I don't know, but if I'm still here and if you guys can still see me, and if I'm not buffering, then that's that's a good sign. So I'm just going to keep testing the stream for a little bit um, until I get hungry because I do have to go and cook dinner. So might hang out for a little bit longer. And then I got to go make me some rice, brown rice. Um, I'm going to make me some. Uh, I think I might do salmon or shrimp or something. But I kind of also have a taste for taco salad. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Taco salad is literally my favorite thing to eat. Um, <laughs> I wish I could have taco salad every day of my life. That would just make me so happy. It's so good. Taco salad and macaroni and cheese are just my two favorite things. Oh, Parker, you love the decorating streams? Perfect, yeah. A very, very uh, detailed tutorial. I just went over um, everything pretty much on how to manipulate objects in Second Life. Um, the snap tool works pretty good, but I've been, I've been around the block for maybe a little bit too long, so I'm comfortable with, like, free-moving stuff, but... Uh, you'll definitely see me go back and fine tune it with the snap tool. I knew something was weird. That was backwards. Okay. But yeah, right now I'm kind of in my, what I call my rough draft process where I just start to play stuff and see where I like it. And I have to remind myself that when I'm doing this, that I can't focus on placing things perfectly because for me I will literally be here all day I do not like this shadow underneath this tv that is one thing that I'm gonna fix real quick because that is bugging me all right so I'm just gonna select this face and I'm gonna go ahead and make it 100% transparent and if I need a shadow I will allow the shadow to automatically bake with my one lights so I think it's going to move over a little bit. Let me change this to like points. Uh, 
even though it changes the 0.5. That's better. Okay, so I'm kind of liking this layout much better. So, let's see here. Do you want to move this back some? Yeah, I prefer this layout so much better. It just seems brighter now than trying to like fit the section all over here. I don't know what I was on <laughs> for like a solid 20 minutes. Just pretend y'all did not see that. Okay, that that was never a thing. What? Never heard of it. Um, So I'm gonna move this plant up here. Move this plant right there. And I'm kind of into minimalism. So I know a lot of people love to decorate um, in Second Life and The Sims. I don't know how y'all decorate in I Am You. <laughs> I never got that deep into it. I literally would just get on there and troll and get bullied and log off. <laughs> so I don't know how that works at I Am You. Uh, but in Second Life and The Sims, um, I know that people love clutter. I am more of a minimalist. I lean more towards that. Um, I don't really like too much clutter. And I'm just starting to see that like when I decorate in Second Life and even in The Sims, I'm just much more happy when the space is like halfway empty. That like, I'm just like, oh, this is so nice. And there's literally nothing out. Um but I'm like that in real life, too. I just do not like too much clutter. It just, yeah. And I think that probably comes from my real life mom. Uh, she's more of a maximalist. Uh, she's the type of person, um, beautiful, bougie black woman. But she's the type of mama to have pictures from floor to ceiling, mirrors, knickknacks everywhere, bamboo, yeah, so I, th I think because of her, I really appreciate minimalism because my mom is like, she's an amazing decorator. She has a beautiful eye and she just does an amazing thing with spaces, but she is a maximalist <laughs> and her and I are just on two opposite ends of the spectrum with that because I cannot like, it just, uh, it's too much stuff. Oh, Shallon, just made me hungry. You love to tear stuff apart and put it back together to make it your own. I do the same thing, Parker, for sure. They're an affordable store, so you're good. Oh, perfect. I'm glad they're affordable then. But yeah, one of my favorite things to do is like take things apart and customize it. Make it my own. Yes, Parker, 100%. And, you know, like, I have one of those moms or she'll be like, I have something for you. Here, take these curtains. Here, I have pillows. And she'll come over with, like, 10, 15 pillows. And it's just like, girl, it's me and two dogs. Why do I need all of this stuff? Um, so, yeah, I, she's she's just that girl, you know, that is just Mama Snow. That's how she gets down. Um, but I'm always so quick to throw stuff away. If it's too much stuff, I'm like, mm -mm, toss it out, donate it, take it to Goodwill, do something, give it away. Uh, I can't do it. Okay, I need to bring up my HUDs back. So I'm going to press Alt-Shift-H. And that's how I turn my HUDs on and off so that my screen is not too congested. And I'm going to play with my new sofa. I love the sofa so much, actually. I'm obsessed with sectionals. I actually want to get a new sofa in real life, and I want to get a sectional. So I, I'm on the lookout for one. I don't know what brand I'm going to go with, but I definitely want a sectional. Um, so I'm just texturing the cushions. I want something, I don't know. I feel like I always play it safe with neutrals, but I kind of want to do a little bit of color for the spring. Like I like that green. Yeah, I kind of like the green in here because I think I'm going to phase out 
pink. Like I'm not going to have these chairs be pink. I'm going to change the color of them because that was at the old space. And I think I just want to try something different for sure. Oh yeah. I, I love fourth wall. Their stuff was good. A little bit on the expensive side. The sofa was 999 linden and if i did not have my gift card i would have been mm -mm, get somebody else to do it um but again I, I had my gift card so i didn't mind it i only paid 3.99 for it out of my own pocket so it wasn't too bad actually i might like the white cushion with that hmm I'm really trying not to be that girl that only does neutrals and beige, or as they call it, the kids on TikTok call it sad beige. I am a beige kind of girl. Give me some browns. Give me some just nudes, beige, white, cream. I love it all. But I'm just like, you know what? I want to try colors and colors outside of blush or um, like oranges like for decor because I just feel like those are my go-to's either like a blush or a burnt orange and I'm like you know what I want to be somebody different and I'm going to start with second life I don't know about doing my real life apartment <laughs> I don't know about like overhauling my real life apartment without my my neutrals and my blush um, and my gold hardware on everything but, you know, in Second Life, I, I can dip my toe in the water. But I'm already looking at this and I'm like, hmm. But it's green. It's very green. But it's different. So bear with me, y'all. I'm trying something new. I, I hope you guys are proud of me. What color is that? Oh, it's that. Stepping outside my comfort zone. Because I just want it to look bright and, like, springy warm and welcoming love some color see I love color but I don't know like you know how people see um what's her name Kim Kardashian's house and they were like oh my god how could you ever live in there like it's so boring I see her house and I'm like, oh my fucking God, that is so gorgeous. I need to live there. <laughs> like, that's my idea of like interior decor, like minimalist, very like neutral, clean walls, open spaces. Um, and I just, I don't know, I kind of want to try something different. Mm, I don't know, the green is kind of giving me coastal, like. We'll see. I have to sit with it. We'll see. I'm looking at it from my back shoulder. I do not like this plant right there. I know that. That is an L. Let me move this over there. make my floral arrangement really quick I feel like some of these I need to oh no not floating too bad that's fixed and that's fixed that one's good I'm gonna have to rotate this because another pet peeve of mine are like when plants intersect with stuff it just doesn't really add to my immersive life. <laughs> so I have to position my plants so that they're not like clipping into anything. Okay. We're not clipping. We're good. We're safe. So I do want to move this plant over a little bit and I'm just going to freehand it. I'm not going to snap it. Then I'm going to move this here. I'm going to put this. Is it going to clip? Oh, it's clipping with the vase. I do love um, wicker and 
like wooden features throughout a home. So I want to see if I have a jute rug. Let me see. I do have one and it's by Apple Fall. Let's see. Mm, I don't know about that one. Look at this and this. Oh, that's definitely not a rug. <laughs> that is definitely a mirror. Oh, you know what? No, it was packaged up. Mm. No, it's interesting. I feel like uh, this, yeah. So <laughs> that rug, I actually use this as a placemat. So I'm not going to use the rug as a rug in this space. I'm just going to delete it because it's currently one of my placemats. But... Let me see, fur rug, shabby rug. What does this look like? I gotta go shopping. I need to go shopping for decor items. Oh, what about this one? Oh, that's in the nursery. Let's look at this Bailey rug. I kind of like this one. No. Oh, this is a gotcha item. Let me take that. Hmm. Why do I not have any rugs? It's a mystery. I don't have time for this mystery right now, though. Um, I do want to use this. So I'm going to leave this out here. I'm just going to start throwing some stuff out. And I do want to use this in my home. So I'm going to put this here. Um, when I decorate, I kind of just end up with a pile of stuff <laughs> that I'm like, oh, okay, I want to use this. Oh, you know what? I want to use this too. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Honestly, guys. The green, not today. <laughs> Maybe we'll try my bedroom. But the more I look at this couch, that's why I've been standing over here. The more I look at it, the more I'm just like, mm, I actually know. Uh, but yeah, we'll try. We'll try another day. Just not today. Uh, I might want to make this rug a little bit bigger. So let me see. I'm going to hit stretch and I'm going to scale it with the one that's underneath so that it could just scale flat where it's at. I don't know if I like this, but we'll see. I'll give it a shot. Trust the process. But yeah, I'm definitely switching out these green pillows. I tried for like 10 minutes, right? That was 10 minutes or was it five? It was something. I gave it my best effort. I sure did. And you know what? It's a no today. But I'm going to try color. I will try it. Just absolutely not. <laughs> no. Um, let me see. I kind of want to keep it like. Try black. Little pillows. Or do I want to do the big pillows in black? And then these. Mm, and I don't like this rug either. Sorry, y'all. I'm just going through it. So indecisive. Okay, and then cushion. You do like pops of color. I do like pops of particular colors. I don't know. My brain is broken. Like I said, I really think my mom 
like scarred me for life because everything was bright, colorful, and I'm just the total opposite of her. I'm just like, absolutely not. I don't think so. I want to see this with like a brown. And then the cushion and that tan. I'll probably either mesh or um, get some pillows, find some pillows, and um, add them to the couch. Are they all the same color? It is. Okay. And now let's make this blanket. That is so much better. <laughs> oh, that is so much better. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Terry, you're going to log off your PC. It's your bedtime. You'll watch on your TV. Good night. I hope you have a good one. And have a great start of your week. Wait, Spruce is 50% off this weekend? What? Oh, I gotta go. Okay, so that space I'm kind of happy with. I know I want a fur rug over there for sure. I'm gonna put this there as a placeholder. It's not gonna be the official rug. I'm just gonna put it in the area. Actually, let me see what coffee tables I have. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong tab. All right, we have my Dust Bunny Gracie coffee table. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use it right there. Then I have my nesting coffee tables. Mm. Oh, this might be taking it right there. That might be definitely not this, but that might be the coffee table that I go with. I don't know why something over here is just getting crooked. Move the sofa over a little bit. All right, so I have the sofa on 176, so let's put this on 176 and the TV in the entertainment center at 176 and now it is no longer giving crooked actually I'm gonna move them over to 75 and a half yeah that's better that's much better okay so I feel like as far as the living room goes this is a decent draft to me um I think what I'll end up doing is putting some like photos right here um, some books and stuff, put out my candles and things like that. And I just got to find the right rug. I have to find the perfect rug. Now, I think what I do want to do is, let me see here. I'm going to type in fancy decor. So what I also like to do is I like to hit up my favorite brands in my inventory and then I'll just start resing some stuff out by them to see what I want to use and if I don't like it I delete it I'm literally obsessed with this hourglass so I know I want to use that do not need a pergola in this space uh, let me see wire console I know I don't want to use that these office documents yes because I do want to set up an office space for me so I'm going to leave those out.
What is this? Oh, this is my craft work kitchen. Hmm. I'm not using that right here. Do I want to use those wax warmers? And I have to open it, of course. Wait, I already have this set out. See? I'm already... I already know what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep that specific fireplace, though. I changed for two and a half minutes. That's enough change for me now. You know, it was the idea of change, Shallon. I, I committed to it for two minutes, and I felt so powerful in that moment. <laughs> I was like, wow, I, I can do it. But no, I definitely want to. Oh, that's pretty. I want to give my bedroom a makeover because it's just, it's no. It's definitely no. Um, I love the closet. Um, the bed is beautiful. But again, the bed is not my story compatible. And I don't feel like making it my story compatible. Um, but I think in my bedroom, I want to try something summery, something fun, you know? shake it up a little bit a part of me is like okay maybe i'll just mesh my own bedroom but then i know uh a huge part of me knows that that's just a bunch of bullshit i'm not I'm not about to be doing that so and i think this little like armchair would look nice with that sectional together even though they're like two different weights but whatever when it's more off-white than it is actually white. But who's paying attention? I feel like if anybody is looking at my sofa that hard, I might have to, like, punch them in their kneecap. Because don't... Don't do that. <laughs> don't look at my sofa so closely. <laughs> oh, chow. Did I show you guys that I finished decorating all of the downstairs? Or is that a fever dream? Did you guys see that? Or am I tripping? I feel like I showed you guys that, no? Did I? Oh, now I'm using that coffee table twice. I have to find a coffee table. But yeah, I really feel like I showed you guys. This area is a whip. This is not done. So I'm just going to start pulling some stuff because none of the stuff is going to be over here anymore. Well, the sitting area is going to stay, but not that. I want this all over here because I'm going to turn that into more of like a reading nook. So I need some space for my bookshelves. It is a fever dream. Okay, because that's a part of my house. Because, you know, I live where I work. Because um, I literally do nothing else on Second Life. So, um, yeah. So, I am going to be hungry. It's, oh my God, it's so too. All right. So, um, I'm going to start placing some things. Um, I feel like I made some progress here. And most importantly, I was able to show you guys some decor tips and tricks because i i love y'all and i just i want everybody's stuff not to float <laughs> no floating in 2023 that's the hashtag so i don't want anybody's stuff to be crooked and i don't want it to be floating so ivory for change let me see turn my highlight off because let me try this at nine eight. Okay. And this is that neurotic thing that I do that I told y'all about where I, if it's not snapping right, or if it's not, you know, if I'm using the arrow keys and it's not working, I will literally mess with this until I get it where I want it to be. Oh no, that's the wrong way. Let's try. 
nine nine. Let's try nine nine. Okay, that's better. Is it in the ground? It's not. It's not floating either. So, little Devonte's bassinet where he likes to sleep. I got to play smart bots, y'all. I have not been on second life. <laughs> smart bots CPS has Dakota and Devante in case y'all are looking for them. I do not have them right now. <laughs> so that's how long I've been off of second life. I got to give my kids shout. I get my children because, uh, yeah, I didn't pay my smart bots bill because I haven't been online. So there's that. But yeah, before I go, I'm going to show you guys what I did to the the lower level. Um, It's still a work in progress, but I had to open up shop because I was participating in weekend sales and there was nowhere for the people to shop. So I had to, I had to open up. Let's see here. Oh, and you know what? I got to... Get my bad unicorn PlayStation 5 or whatever they called it. And um, put that out here. Well, clearly I'm more passionate about the living room than the kitchen, clearly. Because I told y'all, I really don't like cooking like that. And that's just not role play. That's just me for real. Like, oh my goodness. I went through that phase in like my early mid 20s where I was just like, I'm a cook. I know how to bake. Taste this. And baby, I grew that up so fast. It's just like, ugh, okay. I got to cook for myself again. What? Um, yeah, I'm just not passionate about cooking like that. I wish I was. But I'm not that girl. Aww. Uh, All right, so I'm going to turn this TV into a television. So to do that, um, it's really easy now with Second Life. Before, to have a TV was so damn difficult. Everything had to be scripted and, oh, it was a nightmare. But now you just select face and I have the face of the front TV selected. And instead of materials right here under Fulbright, you want to set it to media. And now, this should be a functioning TV. Why isn't it? Okay, it should be. But Second Life is being janky for me, so I don't know why it's not doing what I need to do. Media. Probably because I'm too far away. You know what? I don't have time for this. Okay, let me show you guys the downstairs because I feel like we made some progress over here. I like the sectional right here. Um, I do like turning this into a nice cozy area um, with these armchairs right here. They look nice with that sectional. So let me rotate this. So I'll fix these later, but yeah, so this is all a rough draft. We'll definitely have to do some more decorating. If I don't finish this week, we got to pick it up next weekend, but I'm liking this space better because I think the original layout that I had was just, yeah. Um, and now this is actually a lamp. If you look at it, um, it's a lamp just like this one, but what I did was I just deconstructed it and uh, made the other textures transparent. My baby, how are you feeling? How are you? I'm locked out of my Facebook account on my computer, so I got to check my Facebook Messenger on my phone. Because I don't think you have Discord, Masumi, but how are you feeling?
You know, Charlotte, you could have came and picked the children's up. You could have came and got Dakota and Devontae. You know, could have been on auntie duties. Because, yeah, I really just not have been on Second Life, like, at all. Um, okay, yeah, so I just got to find the perfect rug and the perfect coffee table. Because I don't like any of the... Ooh, child, ooh, ooh. I don't know what was about to pop up on my desktop, but I'm glad I closed out of that. Uh, let me see. Runner rug. Tea station. Oh, what is this? I like this tea station better than a fireplace. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I promise y'all I'm going to show y'all the downstairs, but this speaks to me. I thought I was going to put my custom bar right here, but this tea station might be a situation. Please hold. Make sure I got everything. Move this over. And this is honestly the reality of decorating. I know some people probably have a more organized process than I do, but um yeah my process is to be scattered oh yes i like the tea station how many prints is this eight i'm gonna stretch this out a little bit Big. Yeah, this tea station was mm -hmm, much better. Yeah. Let me just have it not float. Okay. So we made a lot of progress today. I do like the idea of having this cozy seated area for like tea. Um, Put me like a nice rug here. And yeah, this tea station is going to be adorable. And this area, I'm getting happy with. Now, the kitchen, I'm going to blame the kitchen on y'all because <laughs> I went there for a dishwasher and these guys were like, oh, you you would love this. And I, now I want to go buy that kitchen. Now I want it. But yeah, I feel like this layout is something that I'm a bit more happier with. I'm planning on putting my work desk here and then turning this into like a reading nook. That is the goal. I do know that I want to put this mirror on this back wall. Then I'm going to show you guys the downstairs. You have an appointment tomorrow. Okay. Oh, what's the Discord? Uh, let me drop the Discord in the chat. It's also in the community tab. Like, people. Yeah, because I'm getting hungry. Like, for real hungry. Um. Give us one hundred your ESA. Uh, wait, no one minute. Generate new link. Copy. Okay. There's the Discord, and honestly, right now I feel like most of us in Discord are either addicted to my story, or the Sin CC shopping, or both. But um, it's been really comfy and cozy in Discord, so. I'm happy. I'm I'm glad that I decided to reopen Discord and uh hopefully the people that made me not enjoy Discord last time never come back. So Oh, that was actually perfect placement. That's not floating. And then I'm gonna bring these onto wooden panels this way. Sorry if my screen is looking a little bit uh, um, if it's disorienting to look at my screen, I probably just realized that um, I'm moving my camera at a uh, very rapid way, but that's just kind of how I decorate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to turn this into a reading nook. I don't know if I want two panels. We'll see. We'll see. Because, yeah. So... The dining area, I like it. I'm going to either change these chairs to like brown or cream. 
Or I might just leave it blush. We'll see. So we got that out the way. And I'm liking this area. I just need a good rug. I just need a good rug. I like this runner, but I'm not going to put it right there. This is good. It just needs some bookshelving for the reading nook that I want to do. Like this runner right here. Okay. So that's not, I got the smart mirror I made. Now downstairs, the only thing that I have to do down here is this entire room. Um, I want to keep like my wig stand and closet and stuff, but I might actually move the closet like over here. Um, but I am going to actually either mesh a door or find a full perm door to put doors on this area. The nursery, of course, is done um, for the most part. Um, I made custom wall art for Dakota and Devante. It just says their name. But I'm also considering giving the nursery a makeover. The only thing I want to add is like a few things on the wall. But I see this other nursery that I thought was super cute. But we'll see. Uh, other than that, I love it. I just have to put up their names on the wall. And I have to put a few pictures up. The bathroom, <laughs> that video where I, I did the sick for my story, yeah. <laughs> if you would have zoomed that camera out, you would see an empty ass bathroom. This is me exposing myself. Everything on social media is fake, guys, okay? You'll join Coco? Okay, perfect. You're welcome. I hope you guys enjoy uh, the Discord. It is pretty intimate. But yeah, everything on social media is fake, honey, because that bathroom is not decorated. But let me show you guys the finished exterior of my home, which is also where I work. So let's go down the elevator. We're making progress. I feel like this, I honestly could have gotten this done in one day if I wasn't playing The Sims earlier. But that's a whole story in itself. So, all right. So welcome to Hina City where I live and work. Uh, so this is my patio. And you know, this is where the elevator comes down. I did all of this myself. So if it doesn't look professional, you know what? I saved me a lot of money, okay? <laughs> I saved me a lot of money. Um, these are my neighbors. No one has moved in yet, but they will be NPC homes. Not the gate malfunctioning. I live here, excuse me. Uh, this is my garden away from the farm. Nothing is in it yet. Um, I got to fix the grass texture under there. I see that now. Like I said, y'all, it's not professional right now. I got to I gotta finish it. <laughs> It'll be done soon, but nobody can see that unless they look hard. Uh, now, this is the area where, you know, I'm going to be selling some of my produce once I get myself together to sell it. Uh, yes, Coco, social media is a lie. Um, I don't like this girl because every time I bump into her, it's like she looks the other way. She won't make eye contact with me. But yeah, we got some food trucks over here. Um, all of this, like, I wish, get back into the dog park. What are you doing? Wish. You're supposed to be behind the gate. <laughs> this is the dog that I adopted from GN. I think this dog is so cute. A little wish. Anyway, she just does what she wants. Now, Masumi, um, send me your, uh, well, yeah, send me your Discord name on Facebook if you use Discord. Uh, this is the dog park. I felt like I showed you guys this, or was it was it really a fever dream? Uh, this is the dog park. And this is pretty much done. I don't have to finish everything or anything over here, I should say. Uh, this is the dog park. And that's me advertising myself, but I have to update that advertisement. And this is Sheila. She's selling us some biscuits. Um, this is the cat cafe over in here. Not much else now. There is some things that I want to finish decorating. 
Uh, but I got to see if they can give me like 500 more friends, question mark. So, um, this is where I had my weekend sales. My weekend sales are right here. And that's the train. That's where Sharon Edward comes to visit me. He takes the train in Sahina City. You remember the dog park? Your bro set it up nice. Thank you, Coco. And let's see here. The dog park. Okay, so I didn't show you guys anything finished yet. Um, so this is the NPC neighborhood. I just got to get some more NPCs. Some news here. The police. Wi-Fi kiosk. I did finish the... Why is that so bright over there? I don't even know. Um, I did finish the main store in here. I did like discontinue a lot of items for Napa and Aria, but that's okay because I can just make more stuff and fill up the store. Uh, so this is the Napa and Aria main store and I, I like it. I'm happy with it. I feel like it's way more professional than the last main store for sure. And these buy buttons I actually made, but I'm going to be releasing them as like a pack um, for sale. But like buy, fat pack, demo, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way the Napa and Aria main store turned out. I think it's way, way more professional um, than my last main store. Oh, okay. So you saw some of this. I see. Um, yeah, I finished all of the buildings. So like, you know, it's an immersive city. If you look out and I edited the texturing, the, ooh, ooh. Shout. I love this walk up to Hello Ivory. Now, T is that I have not been releasing anything. I just have not had a creative bone in my body, but yeah, that's just that. Um, but this is Hello Ivory. All the bot baby stuff up in here. All the foods. And then, just gonna run. But it's cozy. I mean, I originally wanted to recreate like South Street in Philadelphia. But if I'm going to do that, I'm on a full sim. I wasn't trying to do it on a quarter sim. It just wasn't going to work out the way I wanted it to. And then if you come up this way. Which I love this walk up. We have my role play area. Where I mean, if you come and visit the store, you can visit, check it out too. Uh, but there's an arcade here that I have to finish decorating. But I'm going to get, like, games that are interactive. So I might have to hit up Mad P and get some games that I can play. But I love this building. This building is from Bad Unicorn. So. Oh, here's Dakota's favorite ride. This love mobile that my legs look so long in. And it's not starting, I guess it's out of order. I don't know what's up with my second life today, but it's like nothing is doing what I need it to do. And if you come over this way, there is the uh, Boba Tea Cafe, which is not done. Um, I have to finish the setup in here. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I still have a lot of decorating to go. Um, down here is where I was going to have an entire, an entire like flea market, but I decided not to. So it's just like a walkway, but yeah. Oh, y'all don't see this. Let me go ahead and pick this up. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty much done. I would say that this is 87% done. I just got to add a few final touches. So yeah, this is where I live and work. 
And I like it because most of my time in Second Life is kind of me like working or, you know, me just trying to do like a vlog. So it's like, I love that I can live and work in the same spot. How is this the fake Ivory in Dakota and what she named the boy? <laughs> Did y'all see that video? I put it on Facebook. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think everybody in chat seen that. Oh my goodness. I'm locked out of Facebook, I'm assuming. You gotta link it. To Wait, actually, I could pull it up on Discord. Y'all. So, not too much on the baby, but it's like this, this kid, this young lady, um, redubbed one of my videos <laughs> and she, yeah. Hold on, this isn't a, a, yes, it was. Oh my gosh, that's it. Hold on. So if, you know, you guys are looking for something to watch in the meantime. Hold on. If you get a chance and if you want to watch, you know, me, but redubbed. That really tickled me. Thank you, Shaolin. I guess Dakota is that girl because she kept her name, right? That's just Dakota for you. Like, why would her name change? Because she's Dakota. I didn't even get a name, you know? She didn't even name me, but it's okay. Um, So, let's see here. I don't know about that lamp right there. I'm going to put this in the center. And I'm going to move this in table. So yeah, I feel like the more you just practice decorating, the more comfortable you get with it. Like I said, I'm not a professional. But I know that it is not cheap to get somebody to decorate stuff for you in Second Life. And the reason why I picked up on all these tips and tricks is because when I first started Second Life back in the day, I was a college student. And it's just like, who was paying you all of these U.S. dollars to decorate? Not me. <laughs> so... Um, I just, yeah, I figured out a way. Now, I'm not ever opposed to getting an interior decorator because there are some talented people, but I just, yeah, I figure it's, it's just good to have the skills, something to know on your own. Um, that way, you know, if there's ever something you want to just redecorate or just switch up, you don't have to spend so much money every time. Is she thin, Sonia? I don't know. Because <laughs> when I watched it, like YouTube gave me the opportunity to strike the video. And as soon as I heard her little voice, I'm like, she's a baby. Like, I'm not going to strike it. Like, she's just having fun. Um, several people told me to strike the video down. And I'm just like, I mean, these days, my vlogs on YouTube don't really, like, YouTube suppresses my content pretty much. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well, actually, yes. Um, someone reported my entire channel and it got reviewed for adult content. So that's what happened. But, you know, ever since then, YouTube really does not be displaying my videos like that. Um, so the fact that someone watched my content and enjoyed it that much to that, you know, the point that they redubbed it. I appreciated it. I just want to know where her mother is because she should not be watching Second Life content. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let this baby have fun. She's, she's having fun. That's all.
Because so when you want to budget, sometimes you learn to do things yourself. Exactly. And I feel like that's why I know a lot. I'm not professing to be like an expert in Second Life. But there are a, a couple of things that I know. And I think most people that start Second Life super young. Um, I was 15 with my first Second Life account. I think most of us just become really adaptable and pick up different skills because... I can't ask my mama for $20 to put into a game. Do you know what my mom would say to me? Girl. So I had to learn. I will say that not all of them, but some of them, <clears throat> for a lot of y'all that are afraid to try decorating, so you buy like pre-made skyboxes um, off Instagram, don't do that. Now, there are some people that I know personally that do pre-mades and they're amazing and it's worth your money. But for, you know, some people that be selling them Instagram premies, don't, don't, don't do it, okay? <laughs> don't do it. You're getting ugh, some of that stuff might be stolen. Don't do it. One day you might TP home and <laughs> you don't have a home. <laughs> so just be careful when you buy those pre-mades. I feel like that's another reason why it's important to learn a basic skill such as placing objects in second wave because some people be getting finesse. I'm not even going to hold you. And I see it a lot on second wave. Like people be nessing, finessing uh, the hell out of newer second wave residents. And I mean, you know, I, I don't knock anyone's hustle. Sonia, I feel you. I had to learn how to hustle too. I don't knock people's hustles, but y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop. That's all I'm saying. I see it happen so much. And it's just like, why do y'all do this? Why are y'all like this? Oh, this is so aesthetic now. Okay, I just got to get rid of the 40 coffee tables. Um... And the thousand lamps, but yeah, this is coming together. Yes. It looks a little bit chaotic, y'all, but with this, you got to trust the process. And like I said, some of y'all might have a bit more organized <laughs> um, decorating process, but not me. Um, I'm very... Very, very ADHD. I'm talking Adderall, Stratera ADHD. So my screen is going to look chaotic. And that's okay. You might have an organized method. I don't. Um, you just got to decorate in a way that works for you. And for me, I just put a bunch of shit out and let my brain take over. Um, I don't even think I just place stuff and I just like, oh, okay, that looks good. Oh no, I don't like that. Um, but again, everybody has their own method to their madness with decor. So do what works for you. And if you have a Linden home, like if you have second life premium and you don't live there, cause most people don't live in their Linden home, let's be honest. Um, that is honestly a great way to get your decor skills up. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually swap out your Linden home a few times. Um, you can do that. And that is just a great way to like get used to decorating different spaces. That's what I do in my Linden home. Just use it for decor practice. Because let's be honest, who lives in there? They're London home full time. I feel like most of us just have our homes, but we don't actually use them. Yeah, don't do it, Coco. We've been around long enough not to. But that's the thing, though. Like, there are a few people who, like I said, I've seen someone, um, someone I know personally, and they do it not because they're trying to, like, finesse people, but they're good at it, right? They're good at it. They like they have businesses. They're not trying to scam people. 
they're doing it because they just love to decorate but again don't let that confuse you with the scammers like I, if someone says i'm passing you a pre-made skybox you're gonna transfer me an entire what the hell how the fuck are you sending me <laughs> how are you doing that and it's because that shit is stolen so if you see somebody saying yeah i'm selling you this skybox i'll transfer it to you no immediately no because you, you're you're gonna come home and whatever 30k you paid them for that skybox full of stolen stuff you're gonna be in a world of hurt I'm telling you don't do it but yeah like i i see people like uh, the people that are safe to buy pre-mates from are from people that have like brands or businesses like if you see a store owner that's just like i decorated this i have this pre-made for sale inbox me because what they're going to do is they are going to come you're going to pay them and they'll res it for you as opposed to like you know you hiring them to decorate your home because some designers like creators in second life they still love to decorate they just don't have time so they do pre-mades but for those people who are like selling you a skybox with stuff from like fancy decor or like um backbone and shit like that like there's no way bro don't buy that shit <laughs> don't buy it uh your my story is on your linden lab home oh okay i might actually move my farm there y'all would hate your decorating skills you go into abc order oh my goodness masumi when you decorate you raise a bunch of stuff and make it work yeah see sonia me and you have the similar approach you just hop around. The new areas are more like communities and now not busy, but very pretty. Yeah, that's true. I, I love the newer communities. I forget the name of that new community that they have, but I think it's Bella, Bella Sara, Bella Sara or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I love that area. So gorgeous. Um, but no, Coco, like, I see it. Like, that's why I don't really be on Second Life Instagram all the time. Because they be doing some full gazy ass shit. And it's just like, why? Why are y'all doing this? And then, like, when the stuff gets snatched from Second Life because it's stolen, talking about some, I got hacked. But you know they're not paying you back 30K. So don't be thieving. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So if you're new here and you join the screen or the stream and you see somebody on uh, Instagram selling you a, a, a sky box and they're going to transfer it to you, run. Because <laughs> you are going to be out of 15K, baby. Let me tell you, don't do it. Just learn how to decorate. It's not worth it. And that happens so much, though. That's why it's so important to be mindful when you're shopping from something that's pirated or like someone who has copybotted items or someone who is um, using a real life brand's likeness, uh, DMCA, just know that at any minute that can get snatched out of your inventory. So keep in mind, shop with caution. Mm. I kind of want to put this over here. Oh, Parker, congrats. That's amazing. Oh, goodness. It's amazing, Parker. Do you farm more or are you more of a my story chef? Because I know there are people who are like not a fan <laughs> of farming in my story, but I it's my favorite thing. It's so relaxing. I'm still on a my story hiatus, y'all. I'm not even on a stunt. I'm probably like 20 away from level uh, eight, but... I told y'all, I really haven't been on Second Life these days that much, so. 
I haven't had the chance to level up. Oh my goodness. Okay. What time is it? 6.39 Mountain Standard Time. Well, I'm so glad that my YouTube streams are not broken. And what's her name? Isabel. Isabel Sharon. I'm going to reply to her comment and let her know what I did to fix my YouTube streams. Because I know she does the Drax um, book club. And I feel so bad that she's having OBS issues too. So I'm going to have to find her comment and let her know what I did that worked. And hopefully it helps her. That's just going to look like a hodgepodge for now. Okay. So let me uh, delete this because I have two copies of these nesting tables. And now I don't want to use this fireplace. And I'm going to put my favorite. I already had this out. I don't want these books right now. The shower. What I decided to probably do is do a couple of my book reviews using my Second Life avatar. And I just want to see how that works. I want to see how it goes. Um, because I'm not opposed to it. Like, I'm, I'm not afraid to get in front of the camera. I just love the fact that I can be anonymous, like, behind the avatar and like you know if my co-workers or something just so happen to find my very intimate youtube channel you know it's not like i'm a huge youtuber it's like no face no case how do you know that's me <laughs> like okay we sound like very similar but how do you know that's me so oh wait is youtube looking out for you oh <gasps> Oh, Coco, Facebook drama is funny to me. Facebook drama is so funny to me. Um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably come to the conclusion that I be trolling in real life. <laughs> like, like, you know, I just, I just be trolling because some of the stuff that they argue about on Facebook is just so ridiculous to me. It's just like, how are we this bored? That this is what we fight about. Ain't no way. But honestly, like, Second Life Facebook is so fun. I don't even have real life Facebook anymore. I got rid of it because I'm like, oh, Facebook is cringe. But I will never get rid of my Second Life Facebook, like, ever. Because, um, yeah, Second Life Facebook just has a special, special place in my heart. You can never get rid of it. Okay, so... These leather boxes, kettle. Okay, you know what I'm noticing is that YouTube is okay. Let me close some stuff here. I'm seeing that YouTube is starting to wig out. But it's not dropping the stream as opposed to before when it would kick me out. Facebook is creating social media, period. Yes. But honestly, I feel like Second Life Facebook. <laughs> But I am. I really do be trolling, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. I just, I just, it's funny to me. Um, But I just feel like Second Life Facebook is a place where I could just be completely, like, unserious. Like, if I did that with my real life Facebook, which I don't have anymore, oh my gosh. Like, I'll have family members calling me, are you okay? Oh my goodness. I feel like the least cringe uh social media is probably... Well, no, Twitter's pretty cringe, too. They're all cringe, honestly. But you use it for business only, you care less for social media, personal accounts. Yeah. 
You know, unhinged, I am a little bit unhinged. That's why I warn people. Like, you can add me on Facebook, but <laughs> Facebook is not YouTube. I, I mean, there are certain guidelines I do have to follow, but I have not been banned on Facebook yet. I've been able to skate bans. I've, I've, I've been dodging uh, Mark Zuckerberg for a long time. He and I are besties. He and I are good friends. <laughs> so, um, but you know, if you were to follow me on Twitter, you would think I was an angel. You know, my Twitter account is really boring. Um, but I just think Twitter is such a boring social media. And I only use Twitter for like tweeting about like streaming stuff. Um, I don't use it outside of that. I just think Twitter is just so, ugh. But yeah, Instagram, I don't use Instagram like that. Um, I'll use it when I post family photos of like me and the, the babies, Dakota and Devante. But I don't really, like people send me stuff on Instagram a lot too. And it's just like, I don't really be on there. Like, I, I don't know. Let me see. No, Coco, I have not been to Facebook. Well, I got a warning. Okay. I had a warning and I forget what I posted, but I'm always posting something. Um, but I did get a warning, but I have not been to jail. <laughs> I told you me and Mark are good friends. Really good friends. Twitter is lost and turned out. Sonia, every time I, I'm not going to say it because YouTube and YouTube guidelines, but every time I get on t uh, Twitter, I see um, uh, corn. I see a lot of corn on Twitter. And it just be like the most random stuff. Like I'll see a post. Good morning. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And then I scroll a little bit more and you see somebody getting their back blown out. And it's just like, why is this app like this? <laughs> like, I'm not a prude in the slightest, but why would Twitter think I want to see that? Who authorized this Twitter? Who, who sent you? Um, but I, I feel like the one app that I really do like the most is kind of like TikTok because I feel like TikTok is unserious. And I'm an unserious person, so we just get along nicely. Um, I'm really fond of TikTok. Okay, that area looks so nice. But why can't... I don't know why this isn't working. I'll just put a script in it to make it a TV. Close the material. Media. Choose. Um, homepage. YouTube. Oh, now it wants to work. Okay. YouTube.com. Apply. Okay. Yay! And that's how you can make anything a TV. Why didn't that work earlier when I was doing the YouTube tutorial portion of this, of the stream? Um, okay. Well, I got my TV fix. So there's that. I'm really loving the way that this is kind of shaping up. It's kind of like how I like stuff. It's halfway empty. And I love that. <laughs> I love an empty ass home. Okay. I love a couple of things against the wall and a couple of pieces of furniture and some pictures. And that's it. I don't know. Like I really try to get into like maximalism and I just cannot do it. Like even in virtual worlds, it just gives me bad nerves. It really does. Okay. 
You know, my dad, uh, my dad is named Cheese. I know he's been to Facebook jail a couple of times, I think. Or was it my Nana? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I see people all the time go to Facebook jail and I'm just like, I really must be Mark's favorite because I just post <laughs> the most unhinged, intrusive thoughts and I never get in trouble. So Mark, if you're watching this baby, I, I see you and I recognize that you know my heart. Thank you. <laughs> but no, Twitter is odd. Twitter, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And the only reason why I do check on Twitter sometimes is because um, I like to look at the trending topics to see like what's going on in the the entertainment world, and that's pretty much it. I don't really use it for anything else. Um. I feel like I have tea bags. Tea bags. Hmm. Animated tears. Stealthic. My story tea. Bubble tea, oh my god. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. Closing out of that. <laughs> oh, you know what, Coco, you might be right. That's probably why. Yeah, I am a Facebook favorite. <laughs> oh man, um no, nah, but yeah, like Facebook, Second Life Facebook is, oh my gosh, man. Oh my goodness. I just, again, the the Second Life drama, I really don't pay attention to the Instagram drama. Because half the time it'll be like, oh, y'all are role-playing drama. I thought people were actually seething and at each other's throats. <laughs> that is not what I came here for. I thought y'all actually don't like each other, but they just be role playing. Instagram drama is not real half the time. Um, and I just, yeah, I'm not into it. Is that my brain? Okay. Um, but yeah, the face second life Facebook. And you would think that it's only like, you know, certain communities where there's like drama, but no, every community within Second Life, on Second Life Facebook, they always go through it. Like, it doesn't matter. So, if if you don't have a Second Life Facebook, I suggest you get one and add some friends because it is always a good time. Always a good time on Facebook. Okay. I like this so much better than whatever the heck I had before. Let's turn this around. I could have sworn I had like um, tea canisters, but again, that could be another fever dream of mine. I probably don't have them. Um, sometimes I feel like I buy things, but then I actually don't. <laughs> uh, so I might have to figure out who was selling them so I can go and buy them. Okay. Now, what is this? Oh, tea boxes. And then there is someone that sells like an interactive tea machine. So I got to get that. You know, I can get my role play on. I think one thing that I want to do for role play, because y'all know I, I really be into my own storyline. 
<laughs> I just be making stuff up as I go. Um, I really want to take a family vacation and I want to vlog it just for jokes. I might even bring Sharon Edward for the vacation just for giggles. Um, cause I just think that's so funny. Cause a few people actually think that, uh, Sharon Edward is my boyfriend for real. <laughs> and someone hit me up like, you know, you could do better. And I'm just like, better than my, my store brand. Like, you know, that's not a real person. That's just me being an asshole. Uh, so yeah, I think if I do a vacation and vlog it, Sharon Edward has to come. It's just. He's a part of the lore at this point. He's in my second life. And the fact that people think that's a real relationship makes it even funnier to me. All right, let's see here. And I'm going to put this face that way. All right, so boom. That is done. T area. Do it, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shama says Sharon Edward needs a makeover. And it's just like, if I give him a makeover, it's not going to be the same. I just think he's perfect just the way he is. It will be worth it. Yes. But you know what, though? I think that's going to confuse people even more, especially on like from YouTube, because it's the way people really think. Um, Sharon Edward is like my actual boyfriend and it's just like, oh my goodness. It's my BF boosting my child to be a bitch ass in the club. Girl, what? What are you talking about? Y'all just be making conferences. Just make conferences. I, what? Anyways. Um, so what was I? Um, okay. So I got this area. I don't think I'm going to use this. So I'm going to delete this for now. And I'm going to delete this as well. I'm going to take these up. And then this lamp. Hmm. Up over here. Thank you, Coco. See, you get it. We just look like such an adorable couple. And I just feel like people don't put respect on our relationship. We're definitely giving um, Megan and Harry, for sure. Very much royal, but people just don't, they just don't understand. <laughs> it would be worth it. It would be a build a man project. He'll never cheat. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, I got to do some more shorts with uh, Sharon Edward, for sure. I just... I've been out of it in terms of second life. I think I got burnt out um, from just like real life work and just trying to balance everything. It just, yeah, I was depleted. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that. I think it's the rug. Let me see. No. No. Okay, so all that is missing is some plants. I don't know what I'm going to do over here, like at all, <laughs> um, but I'm liking the living space. It's very me for sure. Um, again, I am more into, I lean more towards minimalism. I don't like too much stuff, so... I do like this. Let me take this up because I'm not going to use this again. It's shaping up into something for sure. 
Does anyone know of decent rental companies in Second Life? Um, rentals for, are you trying to rent land or like, do you want to rent in a community or do you want to rent skyboxes? Because there's a lot of different options that you can go with. Okay. If you just want to have enough space to res a skybox, um, let me get there. So I know I'm always late on my, my tier because I forget to pay it. So I know I have a note card from them in here somewhere. Um, there is a rental company called AM -E -A Estates. Okay. Yeah. Warning about your land rental. There it is. So I feel like if you want something small, just to res a skybox, this is going to be the way to go because you can get a nice plot of land and it's not going to cost you too much. Now, if you want a big plot of land, do not go to AM Estates because they overcharge for bigger parcels. It's not worth it. You're better off going to like um, one of the other land barons or like An Shi Chong or something like that. But if you just want something intimate for your skybox, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Um, I love them. I swear by them. They're really easy to work with. And again, um, you know, if you only need like 300 crims, right now I'm looking at the list and they have 305 crims for like 299 linden um they're great and if you know you're trying to set up a sneaky link skybox on you i don't know i'm not trying to be in your business but <laughs> if you know you just need a little something 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 uh yeah it's definitely the way to go definitely um i lived there for a while and honestly my farm is on that land so they're good but I'm trying to actually go and get me a small plot of land for research purposes. I can't confirm or deny what I'm trying to do in there. I just know that I want to set up something a little different. Oh, these are all separate. Okay. Well, this is a little different. It's <laughs> just something. Oh, I don't like this in here. Do I like it right there? I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, this definitely looks brighter. I'm tired of looking at Steph Curry. I'm gonna watch Lo Fi Girl. It's always a part of my RP to have something on the screen. Um, I am going to take this kitchen up because like I said, one day we will decorate my Linden home and we will use this kitchen because I honestly love this, but I feel like the DBY kitchen, which I was not hip to at all before today. Um, I'm trying to get that because I feel like that would just be better for my role play, 100%. Actually, I feel like that DBY kitchen is huge. So, I might actually... How much Londons do I have? I have 3K. I'm not going to buy it right now. But I am going to move this back because I feel like with that kitchen set, I will... Oh shit. I will have um more space to do stuff. So I'm gonna put this back. Actually I could have just there we go. And then I could put this back where it was. I'm telling you that control Z feature is so amazing. Now um, Dakota and Devante, like I said, I need to get them high chairs that are good for their little tiny bodies because they're little small beans. 
So they need appropriate size high chairs. So before I do go for real, for real this time, uh, we might hit up Starry's really quick so I could get them high chairs because I can't forget about my babies. But yeah, we're making a lot of progress. I feel like I'm going to be done very soon, at least with like the rough draft. And then all I got to do is make sure that everything's aligned the way I want it to be. I love the dining area, honestly. Um, and my plants and all of the bells and whistles. Girl, you make sure you lock the skybox because when you move... Oh, yes, that is the first thing. My skybox is on lock. <laughs> uh, because I am notorious for accidentally texturing stuff. And I'm prone to raging. I do not like this here. It's not, it's not the vibe. I love it, but it's not, I'll put that in the Linden home. Um, but yeah, I'm notorious for accidentally dropping textures and then raging about it. <laughs> so um, I, I always have to lock my sky boxes. Why is my phone blowing up? Who is trying to contact me? help oh it's all for my terry joe video not it randomly blowing up on tiktok you can tell it's her her nose is cute what about the do georgian next Oh, goodness. Terry talked them found my TikTok video. I'm like, why is my phone blowing the fuck up? They done tagged him and everything. I, I apologize. Um, it's iconic. <laughs> I just made it for fun because I wanted Terry Joe in my save file because I'm just such a fan of Terry Joe. Um, I'm like, why is my phone dying? Why does it keep ringing? I've been trying to ignore it this entire stream, but it's been going off. <laughs> For like the past two hours so that is why okay and it's 706 well to recap where we are at um i'm gonna redo the entryway this elevator is a placeholder um it's not yeah so this is a placeholder i'm actually going to be meshing an elevator believe it or not i'm gonna actually work on something Shocker, I know. I'm actually going to mesh, even though I said I retired and I never want to mesh again. I think that was just me being upset. Um, so I'm going to make an elevator. And this area is mostly done for the most part. I do want to move this cart and put it next to the T area. So like I said, we're going to have to finish this but we probably won't finish it today and that's fine you know I need my coffee cart near my tea cart and that's probably not placed appropriately but I'll fix it later I'll just put it right there um oh okay um so yeah we got this area which I'm really liking this tea area for sure um, I might put my office space right here. This will be my book nook for book club. I just gotta, I gotta finish it. It's a mess right now. I did, Coco. Listen, I, I think it was just me. I think it was stress. Um, but my issue is that I want something to be perfect and when my mesh doesn't come out perfect I literally have a meltdown and it's just like I know I gotta trust the process and wait till you bake it and blah 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 but I just I was so stressed with work in real life I was like yeah I'm never meshing <laughs> I'm never meshing again um which sucks because for so kawaii Sunday I made a grip um for the last like when I put my letters on sale 
I made a grip that weekend. And even then, I was like, well, maybe I should keep this momentum. But no, I was just so out of it. I could not do it. Um, we take hiatuses, but we never retire because we love meshing. Yes, I love to mesh. <laughs> I love meshing. Um, someone please ask me to blink if I need help. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got to get back to it. I just work with stressing me out, man. Like for real. Oh my God, this whole bedroom. I'm, I'm deleting everything because the next time we work on this house, it's just, I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know what this is. I do want to keep the closet, but like I said, I'm going to move the closet probably in here, like this area. I'm going to keep my wigs as well. I love these wigs. I just, which is, I'm going to, I'm going to be that annoying person. <laughs> and I'm going to ask the creator if it would be possible. Because I don't think I can modify this house. But let me see. Because I'm looking at this back wall. And this will be a perfect opportunity to have a closet. Now. Can I make this? No, I can't even make it phantom because it's, I can't modify it. <sighs> but yeah, I, I don't know. A part of me wants to be like, hey, can you make this house modifiable? Because I would just love to turn that whole back area into a closet space. I mean, this is supposed to be a closet space in here, but this is my kid's nursery. Um... Another part of me is just thinking about getting a small skybox and like making a closet because I, I need a closet space for vlogging. Um, and this is just not working for me. It, it, it looks like, um, you know, too much going on. So I think I honestly put this stuff out because I knew Masumi was coming over, though. <laughs> and I was like, she needs somewhere to sleep. So, but yeah, I'm redoing this whole bedroom and I'm just going to get a small skybox and um, do that. So let me just take this up. I don't like these mirrors anymore either. You watched my previous video about the ZBrush course. Sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Chris Brown, hello, how are you? Yeah, that's what I might do. I might put um, like a TP script there for sure. Um, or, you know, these are supposed to, I guess, these are supposed to be closet doors. So I could put it here and just TP there uh, to the closet. And then, like I told y'all, everything on social media is fake. My bathroom was not decorated. <laughs> I had those camera angles for a reason because my bathroom is not done. Well, I'm just going to delete this. Um, yeah. So I feel like after I get that DBY kitchen. I just got to put some stuff in the wall because um, it looked like I, I love my kids halfway. Like the walls are bare. So I got to decorate the walls. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to dedicate next weekend to finishing this. I love this penthouse. And if this looks familiar to you, it's because it is the GTA um, penthouse. So that's probably why. But yeah, I just got a mesh and elevator because I could not find an elevator that I liked on Marketplace. And I, I don't know if that's because Marketplace is in hell. Uh, Marketplace is terrible right now. So I'm just like, I'll mesh one. It's, it's not that hard. Uh, so I'll do that. And then I got to set up my DVY kitchen. And yeah. I'm I'm pretty satisfied because like I like I told y'all I'm not a maximalist. I do not like too too much. I like a little bit of clutter, but not too much. So I'll be done in no time. Uh, but before I go, let me go get my babies their high chairs so I could put them out. So walking into the door puts you in that space behind the wall. You can't modify. You know what, Chris Brown? You might be onto something. I might actually do that. Yes, Dimandus. They released this one, Coco, at 
Uh, the last round of equal 10. Um, Starries. Maybe, I, I don't know. Let me not say that I can mesh a high chair because I can say that I'm going to mesh a high chair, but am I actually going to finish it? Probably not. Uh, but most of the high chairs I find for little ones are too big for lullabies. So I know Starry's has one. Oh, this is so cute. But child, Dakota is two years old. She don't need to be in that. She a big girl. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I got to get some of this stuff for Dakota and Devante. It's so cute. So that way my little robots have something they can do. Uh, but yes, this is the high chair. Do I have this for them? I don't know. The only thing is, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if the high chair, oh my gosh, it's a lot of, it's very child friendly in here. It's too much going on. Um, I don't know if the high chair in here is going to match with my decor, but I have been finding no luck with finding a good lullaby pie chair. Okay. 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 That's okay. <laughs> um, the only other place I don't think I tried is rooted. Let me see. Let me look up marketplace. You say you can, you can trust the process. Take your time. I know. I just, if work, if real life work wasn't so stressful for me i wouldn't mind it but like it's been rough man i just don't even have the capacity yeah see i'm not with this marketplace shit this is so okay i'm on marketplace and i'm looking at rooted now rooted is a store that i love it is so oh my goodness their stuff is so cute, and if you're a parent that wants to keep your aesthetic, I'm going to put it in the chat. If you have, like, a lullaby, I think they have Zuby stuff, too. Uh, Rooted and Bijou are literally a godsend, because I feel like sometimes in Second Life, the... Oh, my... I didn't want to start a poll. No. Okay. Sometimes in Second Life, when it comes to, like, kids stuff... It'd be given that crown. <laughs> I'm just like, that shit is not going in my home. <laughs> that shit is not getting into my house whatsoever. Um, yeah, the crown was actually attacking me, Coco. But yeah, and I, I just feel like certain kid stuff just doesn't match my aesthetic. But that's why I love Bijou and Rooted. Uh, cause they, they know what time it is. And I'm actually going to TP there to see if Sienna put out like, um, Tiana owns the store Bijou. I'm going to see if she made a high chair that is the good size for a lullaby. Because I know lullabies are getting more and more popular. Napa, stop barking. Get a job. Aria, you can also stop barking and get a job. Don't do this. All right. So, because I feel like she might have made a new high chair. Unless that's another fever dream. Let me see what she had. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this one is for totally do avatars. So mm, that's definitely going to be too big for Devante. Yeah, it's going to be too big for him. Oh. oh my goodness okay i'm here for a high chair i'm here for a high chair looking for a lullaby high chair that matches my aesthetic so i do not have to mesh one sienna please be a fence please okay is this one made no that's the same one okay thank you coco let me copy and paste this because, yeah, I like certain kids stuff. And that's why I've been so slow to 
with um at least decorating their stuff because I ain't, mm -mm, ain't no sparkles and no moving crowns going up in my house. I don't play that. <laughs> no, and I that's why I'm glad I have robot babies because I would hate to break a child's heart if they came and are like, Can I have this? I'm gonna be like, No, sweetie, you cannot. Uh, cause yeah, that stuff and it's also super laggy too. So I just prefer not to have it in my home. Uh, but that's just me. Please, okay, Sienna. Please make a high chair for Lola Beebs. I know it's here. This is the one I have. That one's for totally do. Um, oh, so I'm planning on, I don't know if I'll do it this year or next year, but I've been thinking about aging Dakota up in due time. I'm not going to probably do it this year. But I actually want the girl to have a birthday party, y'all, because I found a picture of her and I 10 years ago. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually her mother. <laughs> I am actually this robot's mother because why have I had her for like this long? So, yeah, I'm like, you know what? I might make her a totally do or a BB youth and... When the time comes, I'm actually going to have a for real birthday party for my robot. So y'all can pull up. You tend to frequent the kid events sometimes for ideas because you're going to have to make a kid avatar. Totally do or something. Yeah. <clears throat> and honestly, um, I don't know if I'm going to like stay in the kid niche. I, I made kid food because my kids didn't have food because they were robots. But um. Oh, all of this stuff is so cute. Um, I, I do plan on staying in the family niche. So I actually got to pull up to more of the kid events. Sienna, you're breaking my heart. I don't see a Lullaby high chair. And that means I'm going to have to mesh one. Oh, I'm crying right now. But it's okay. I do have the kit. So I have the Lullaby body. She ain't, she ain't got one, y'all. She ain't got one. So... It looks like that's what I will be working on. I don't know if I'll release it or if I'll just put it in my house. Um, Cause that Starry's one, it's cute, but let me go back there. I do not think it's gonna match the aesthetic. So yeah. Hi, Samantha. Mm. Nine food and drinks. It's so cute though. Can I change the color? Hmm. I think what I can do is uh, do the high chair in like this orangish color or like even this pack right here. Hmm. Let me log on Dakota and see what she looks like. This is such a huge choice for me right now. And they're uh, going to tell me, like, you tell Faith, do everything. I know. And I feel like um, I just, I'm trying not to box myself in either. But that's why I'm glad I decided to, like, do Hina Brands as one thing. But then I have, like, Napa and Aria for all of my kawaii stuff. And then Hello Ivory for my non-kawaii stuff. I just, I've never had a creative block this significant though and that's what scared me and it's just like I gotta find a way to manage working and not allowing the the stress of work to stop me from um creating but I think I'm gonna get this high chair oh child okay I'm gonna get this high chair for now I'm teleporting Dakota to see what she looks like in the high chair there's little Miss Girl. I still cannot believe <laughs> that that girl done change everything about the family. But she was like, I actually, Dakota is an icon. She keeps her name. And it looks like Dakota's naked. So let me zoom out and wait for her clothing to rest. 
Where are your clothes, Dakota? I know I put an outfit on my baby. I know my baby has clothes on. Dakota. This girl then detached her outfit. Listen, smart bots then took my baby, took her clothes off. They took everything. Because where is her dress? I'm just going to put an outfit on her. Okay. One second, guys, because I'm going to get this high chair and it's going to be temporary until I either find one or make one that I'm happy with. I just don't understand what happened. Oh, there's her outfit. Okay. Dakota operates on her own time, guys. She's resident. She has her Easter outfit on. Oh, it's so cute, actually. Oh, it's actually cute. Let me see here. Um, I need for her to adjust her highlights. Let me see here. Um, activities. Box meal. Auto attach. Okay. Leg height. Oh, so it doesn't work on anything, but yeah. And I mean, this is the perfect size for them. I have to fix her hover height. Oh, that's too much. Oh, not a baby floating. Oh my goodness. Dakota, I just be putting you through so much, girl. Okay, that's a little bit better. But yeah, this is honestly the perfect size for her in the Vante. So I'm just going to get it. Um, and I might just keep it white. How much is it? 800 London for a fucking not fucking cut. It, damn, for a high chair? <laughs> Dakota says she is rebelling. I think Dakota is sick of me shouting, honestly. It does require some planning, organizing, and scheduling, but it's totally doable. Yeah, Coco, I just really got to, like, sit down and get my get my life together. But I feel like I'm glad that I just um, did not release anything because I think the other side of that was, like, releasing stuff that was just shit quality <laughs> that I would have been so upset with. So... Yeah, it's it's like a catch-22. It's like you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Damn, 800 Linda for a high chair? Okay, I gotta get it. Uh, Dakota, I'm gonna have to talk to Sharon Edward and get my money from that account. Because <laughs> I need it. I'm spending all my money. All right, so let me log Dakota off. Say bye, Dakota. That video took me down. Honestly, I hope she does more videos. All right, so let's put the high chairs out. Let me see here. Did I get my high chair? I did, okay. So last but not least, let me place the high chairs and I am gonna go make myself some either taco salad or some rice and fish and vegetable and i might hop on twitch because i am itching to play the sims oh my goodness shallon after you left the last stream i did that is when all hell broke loose for that let's play and i feel like we gotta see what aelin is trying to do it's so tight. Look at it, it's so small. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's so tiny. Okay, let me see. It's so small. Now see, I, mm, I feel like it could be a standard size high chair, but Let's make it fit the little bodies. Hmm. We'll see. Now, if I can't make this white, I'm literally going to rage. Um, Color. Let 
Oh wait, they have pinks. Maybe I can get it to match the chair. Um, piggy, cotton candy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Where? Mm -mm. Where's the whites? Um. Okay. Now themes. Do we have a no theme watercolor? Oh God. What is the street? Not the babies being in the streets in the high chair. It's, oh, oh no. I just want it to all be white. Okay, so let's see. Color. Fades. White. Now, how do I get it to where the seat? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, settings. Okay. Okay, yeah, this, see, I like this, but this, I do not want it to be stars and rainbows. I got to figure out how to change that. Um, stories, that. Settings. Settings. What is this? Favorite color. How how do I just change it to where it's not stars on it? Okay, I am about to prepare to send a note card and ask for help because, uh, oh, I can make it taller. Ah, okay, so now how do I set I'm so confused right now. Is there a way to change Display name, pronoun, favorite color, auto hide. All right, I'm done with this because this high chair is about to get me raging. <laughs> I like that I can at least set part of it to white, but it's like they're not even matching right now. And how do I get them to match? Um, tiny stars? Sleepy stars? Okay. Uh-uh, what is this? This is upsetting me and my homegirl. Okay, now they match at least. <sighs> Can we select the face? Oh my, oh, okay. All right, well, at least the baby's got somewhere to eat. I don't know if I actually like this. This is going to be temporary. It's messing up my... <laughs> it's, it's messing up my... Um, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, I am going to get ready to eat. Probably seems. I think you went past the white. And my, oh, I just seen that typing. I'm sorry, y'all. I was so hyper-focused on that. They tax him for the adorableness. Yep. Yeah. Type in being a parent is so hard. You want to do the high quality and sometimes you got projects sitting in queue because something's missing. Yeah, Coco, I don't put anything out unless I'm happy with it. Enjoy, you're ready for the shenanigans. You know, you watch some of the playback. Yeah. When I saw what he contracted, I was honestly so happy that she didn't get it from him. Because now she could finally break up with Marcus and move on. But I feel like every time... 
I try to get her to break up with him, they go woohoo. And I'm sorry, y'all. Me and Shallon are talking about my um, Sims 4 Let's Play. So yeah, I'm going to go cook. And I will probably be on Twitch after I take the dogs for um, their W-A-L-K. And, you know, feed them, walk them, all that stuff. So is she still there? Ow. See, smart box that took her for a reason. Oh my goodness, girl. She's probably let me lock her off. She's sitting there like, help me, please. My mom left me here. Okay, I'm logging Dakota out. Cause the way I would have accidentally left her on. You miss your Sims? Yeah. See, I'm honestly obsessed with the Sims right now. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go eat, and this was fun. I will definitely add timestamps. I don't know when. Um, I could honestly help. Actually, no, I'm going to set a reminder. Um, I'm going to add timestamps to the tutorial and for the decor portion, and we'll pick this back up next weekend. I might honestly work on it during the week if it's a slow week at work. I'm praying it's a slow week at work, but... Um, yeah, I will be on Twitch for a little bit this evening. Um, not too late. I'll probably come back around 9.30, second lifetime, 9.30, 10. And I'll be in the bed by midnight um, so I can get up early. So this was fun. I'm so glad that YouTube did not kick me out. I really wanted to stream long today because I wanted to stress test it. So there might be a little bit of buffering, but the YouTube streams are going to be back. If it's not, if I fixed it, um, I'd rather it buffer than it disconnect me. So I'm glad we were able to just chill for a couple of hours today, test the connection. And again, and I'd rather it buffer than have it disconnect and disconnect and disconnect. Because then YouTube thinks I'm spamming. So that's, that's not good. <laughs> so it was fun. Thank y'all all so much for hanging out. Coco, Shallon, Typing, Gypsy, Chris Brown. Oh my goodness. It's been so much fun. All of y'all, Sonia. It's been real. And I miss streaming on YouTube. Uh, Parker, I hope all of y'all have a good rest of your day. My Nisi Poo, Masumi, I hope you feel better. Please send me your Discord because I need to fix my Facebook password. Uh, Gabby, I will see all of y'all live next weekend. Uh, we will be having videos going up on Tuesday. That one's going to be on VR chat avatars. And then Thursday, we're doing a store tour of a store that is really special to me, the very first one. Um, I wanted to be someone who I care about. Uh, dearly. So this was fun. I will be on Twitch tonight and that is twitch.tv slash Ivory Snow Plays. And I'm going to be up to sh uh, some shenanigans and we'll listen to some music. Um, fair warning, my, my Sim, it's the Breed Out the Ugly Challenge. So if you're looking for some aesthetic Sims, baby, that's not the Let's Play. <laughs> you're going to have to wait for the YouTube Let's Play. Uh, Cause this is the breed out the ugly challenge, but Aylin is still very much a bad bitch, but you know what it is, but y'all have a good one. I will see y'all later on Twitch. If you come pull up, bye y'all.